Good morning and welcome to day three here at the Modus Super Series. Wednesday is the day where we put our first name into the finals night field here in week two. One man might be one step closer to emulating John Worsley and making it through to Champions League. But before we look ahead to today's action, here's Chris Murphy with the best of yesterday. ADC qualifier Gary Hayes ended a difficult day with victory over fellow Teesside talent Colin Osborne. Hayes, though, ended Tuesday bottom of the table. Like Gary, it looks difficult for Larry to take that top spot. Butler is also on eight points after two days' play. And Super Series 1 champion Conan Whitehead made it onto eight points too. After only one win in seven matches, he seemed to have 99 problems, but this checkout wasn't won, and he prevailed in his last three games. A clear split in the table then going into the final day and the three horse race for finals night features Owen Bates who rounded off his day by serving a bagel to Butler. Colin Osborne was a big mover yesterday winning four out of five matches to put himself firmly in the fight. And Leonard Gates is the other man in contention for a first place finish. It looks set to be a thrilling finale to Group A. It most certainly is, Chris. Thank you very much indeed. As you can see, Scott Mitchell once again with me up here on the balcony to look ahead to what's going to be another dramatic day of darts. And if it's anything like yesterday, we're going to have some drama by the end of this. We really are. And, and we're going to start with drama today because three of our top four play in the first two games. And are we going to see experience of Colin Osborne come through this? Are we going to see the youth and exuberance of Owen Bates? Or... Is our man Leonard going to dance his way through to the winner of Group A? This is just an intriguing day. Indeed. Let's have a look at the table following two days' play then here in Group A. As you can see, a three-way tie at the top. Leonard Gates leading the way. And that superior legs difference, the plus 12 there, that is, that is probably as significant as any points on the board now. Yeah, it is. When you look at that group, it's, that's the way it's going to be. I mean, he will fancy his chances now. He has the leg difference and uh, you would expect him to hold on to that. But we can have tense, nervous headaches on, we get a bit nervous. I know Leonard is wanting a couple of days off, so he'll be looking to try and top that group today. As for Colin Osborne, great day for him yesterday. Yeah, he was really good on Monday, but he just didn't quite have the results to go with it. And yesterday he came through the field, tired a little bit at the end there. He, he, he waned a little bit on his averages at the end, but he's right in the mix and put himself in with a shout. Well, let's have a look at the second day's action then. In a bit more perspective, we could have a look at it by the numbers now. We saw 86 legs play, just a couple less than yesterday. The averages as well have gone down. The checkout ratio has gone down as well. But I suppose when we get to this stage of the group, games become a bit more important. We see a few more nervy darts come in as a consequence. That's exactly what we saw yesterday. You know, as the day went on, we started to tail off. The averages started to tail off. But in those last couple of games, we were back sky high, as with the day before. It's going to be a really interesting start this morning. It could all hinge on those first two games and where it goes. Most certainly. And let's see what the bookmakers make then of proceedings here. This is the Group A betting going into the final day's action. Leonard Gates and Corey Osborne, both six to five joint favourites going into this. Now, they meet in the second game of our session today. So big games right from the kickoff. But... I wonder whether the value is Owen Bates at 92. Level on points with the pair. The only thing he'll need to do, though, is kind of arrest the leg difference. Yeah, I, I think 92 is the value there because he's played probably the most consistent of all in the first two days. Uh, he hasn't been worried that he's the new boy. He's come in and, and just taken to it like a duck to water. So I think 92 is the value there. Most certainly. And you just get the feeling that you, we're going to learn quite a lot quite early but there's still a lot of scope for some drama later on there are going to be some scrappy legs today there are going to be some some times the guys are going to have to really really dig deep and they're going to find out a lot about themselves and so are we shall we get it on let's get it on let's do it then so 15 games to decide who the first player through to saturday night's finals will be first up for us is the battle between owen bates and larry butler scott's gonna rush his way down to the coverage box to join chris murphy morning chris good morning henry good morning all trap yourselves in for what looks like it is going to be a very bumpy ride 
Owen Bates, Colin Osborne, Leonard Gates, all fighting it out for that top spot. Nobody mathematically ruled out of the equation yet, by the way. However, it would be a very, very difficult task for Conan Whitehead, Larry Butler and Gary Hayes to overturn what is already a four-point deficit to reach the top of the table. But maybe if one of the three has a disastrous day, okay, first leg, it's the all other three, three can look at Game making on. it into Group B. And the obvious advantages that go with that, a more likely chance of joining the winner of this group at finals night come Saturday. 85. And Bates will be playing the fearless free role, really. A young talent who's still riding the crest of a wave after decent performances of late performances 60. that included some good results at qualifying school, including a win over Scott Mitchell. I can say that because he hasn't made it downstairs yet. But it ended Nine, Scotty Dog's eight. chance of getting a tour card. And also that run to the final of a Challenge Tour event as well. So all going well for the fresh-faced youngster. And he is playing a man Whoa, 45 years his senior. And showing him how good he is. A 45-year gap between hey, the youngster one, I mean, and the old man. And speaking of a, an age gap, the old man has just joined me. Welcome to the comms box, Mr. Scott Mitchell. <laughs> You're calling me a super senior already. Game shot in the oh, first What leg. a superstar. Owen Bates. From Owen Bates. Absolutely fabulous stuff. And an orthodox way of going for the one through eight as well. Second against Larry to throw first. Game on. I wonder if we'll see that across the front of his shirt before his next game. Yeah, treble 18, treble 16, double 18. Interesting routes. 140. Nicely appreciated by Larry as well this morning. First thing in the morning. No, you wouldn't have really wanted to have been on the end of that leg one. Yeah, well, we're talking hey, about, T3. as you were with Henry, a three-horse race for the top of the table. Look, it's not possible for all three of those players to collapse because they've got to play each other. But the Butler, Hayes and Whitehead, hey, it just takes one of those three to have a bad day. And there is a chance for them to get into the Group B positions, isn't there? Yeah, we, we were discussing that. Obviously, the Group B gives you... Uh, a little more 44. scoping in getting to the Saturday final, but um, it, it's one of those. I think it depends when you want to play after you've played today. If you fancy playing in the mornings, then 59. That may be the group for you. And if you fancy playing, you know, having a bit of a rest and playing in the evening, then that's where you want to be. Well, they all want to be is resting completely. And we are going to keep you up to date with all the little changes. I noted Henry mentioned upstairs that, you know, Owen Bates has the worst leg difference of the trio. He's, he's on zero, which is 43. 12 behind Leonard Gates. And, yeah, maybe he does have to eliminate that. But if he wins all five matches, he doesn't, does he? Because it means he's taken points off both Gates and Osborne. And then he'll be top of the table on points. And leg difference then doesn't matter. And also, he's not relying on himself to have to take those points off the other players. You know, they're going to probably take points off of each other. So he's not going to uh, have to feel the pressure that way of, of having to hey, do it himself. Three. Whereas if it was a two-horse race, it's it's all down to yourself, isn't it? A lot of his wins have been 4-3, but he did beat Butler 4-0 yesterday. 100. He's hoping for the same outcome 96. here, taking the first leg, but has to hope that Larry doesn't clean up the 96, which has just become more difficult and now impossible. 33. Only require 89. So trouble 19. He'll go 20 for the ball route. It's double five. Just 84. under. 84. Larry requires 63. So it's Larry coming back for 63. Will he go the 39 route? Will he go the trouble nine route? Where is he going? He's gone. <laughs> 17. So 46 left. And then tops. 43. Mm -hmm. Every route that I didn't mention, five. the only one I didn't mention, and he, he goes that way. That's a good start to the morning, Murph. No oh, score. I didn't see that one coming. Larry require 20. And that's maybe one of the dangers of going that way. 
A lot of players would, in fact, the vast majority of players would go for a yeah, single one there. The Butler makes him pay. Larry Butler. Because one, there's a jeopardy of, if you hit the single three, you can still pull the one inside and you're going to bust. So but also you've got the treble first. that busts, the double that busts, and you don't have either of those things when you go for a single one. 55. I've got to be honest, I don't go that way when I've got five left for that main reason. You know, there's too much that can go wrong there. It's, it's, it's just very similar to the 52. 59. When you've got 52 left and going the 20 route, um, there's always a danger. And you don't leave yourself a shot. So the 52, I always go 12 as well. But Maybe a bit of inexperience. Thinking, maybe thinking too much. Obviously, the way his darts stand up, he knows that if he misses outside double two, then it's going to block it. But got to give yourself a chance. Never seen anybody win 44. a leg that hasn't had a, dart, a double of some sort. So, yes, you're absolutely right. You've got to back yourself to get one dart at it. I always find that 60. strange because the one's right next to the 20 and you're thrown at the 20s all the time. So, Yeah, and, and you know, the, the amount of times you see it, you look, he, he drags it into the treble, he can still go for double one. If he accidentally hits a double, he's still got one double one. 71. Yeah, interesting that. And we'll see if he leaves himself five at any point between now and the end of the day, whether he learns from that mistake or whether 60. he perseveres. We've got the situation with this match that if, if Bates could turn Larry Butler over, he puts the pressure on the next two that are coming um, in Gates and Osborne Ooh, to follow three. this game. So, um, yeah, you know, you, you'd feel that he needs to win this one if he has any uh, sort of feelings of, of being top of the group at the end of the day. One hundred and eighty. Yeah, at the very least, you need to be beating all of the other players, don't you? The bottom three. And then making those matches against the players you're battling with. One hundred and eighty. What a battle. And what a battler Butler is bouncing back with the maximum in response to the one from Bates. 85. Larry Require one hundred and hundred. Well, 16 missed. And now Butler might try and pick his pocket. Sorry, 48 scored, yeah. That leaves tops. Game show on the third leg. Larry Butler. Nice shot there from Larry. Fourth leg is Larry to throw first. Game on. It's always nice to have a ton plus shot out and uh, for your confidence. Then it's going to really hurt. 140. I thought he was away in that leg. When hit a 180 to leave 101, only to see Butler reply, then miss the double himself, only to see Butler take out the ton topping combination. 140. Good reply there to Larry's 140. Just lets him know that Owen feels he's going nowhere. 100. So key matches coming up. Game two, Leonard Gates against Colin Osborne. Already a big one. But then 100. Owen Bates doesn't meet Colin Osborne until... Game nine, and he doesn't meet Leonard Gates until game 14 out of 15. Wonder if that could end up being a, a winner takes all contest. 140. We are getting some tungsten magic here. That the guy's done a little bit of a slow start 60. in the first leg, but now we're really 121. Now throwing the kitchen sink at one another here in leg four. We're just crunching some numbers from yesterday, and Owen Bates had the biggest drop-off in performance of any player. 91. Despite keeping himself towards the top of the table, there was a five-point difference in his average yesterday of 83 than 88 the day before. 45. Larry Require, 30. This goes to show this old adage, no day is ever the same in darts. Oh, Larry... Might have done himself an injury there. Threw the dart at himself. Game and then threw it in the double. Leg. Larry Butler. And as a player watching and as an opponent, 
that really does. If they get Zarin to throw first, that, that really off. does. You know, he's nearly dropped it. He's nearly this. He's nearly that, and then he just managed to recover it, catch it. The point was in his shirt. One hundred. Pull it back out of his shirt and chuck it straight in the double fifteen. Like it didn't matter. The, ju the juggler going for the jugular. One hundred and twenty-five. Harry Butler is already bringing surprise, and let's not forget where this would put him. So, a victory for the eagle here would see him soar up to ten points, only two off the top. It's a shame, isn't it, that we don't have the scenario where it's Hayes and Whitehead playing against Gates and Osborne, because if all those results went a certain way, suddenly there'd be two points from top to bottom. Even if Whitehead, Butler or Hayes were to have the day of their darting life and get to 18 points, it is never really Four, enough to win this group. You've got to be looking at around the 20 mark. So you think that if one of those top three emerges with four victories, that'll be them taking the place. And as a player, that was that's the way you have to focus 100. on today and go, right, I think four victories are going to get me through today. So you go and get those four victories and... Uh, that that's the way I'd be looking at it as a player, and and, and eradicate that that everybody else is playing everybody else, five. and try and take it out of Larry their hands and, and make it your own. Which means that Owen Bates is already in trouble if he loses this match because it, it gives him no margin for for error for the rest of the day. Ninety six. I mean, that's only if he's thinking like he needs four out of five. If he's not thinking like that, then he won't be worried about it too much. Yeah, for those three at the top, though, it's already. 47. Relying Larry on favours from other 40. people, isn't it? Once you've lost a match, and that's what might be about to happen because Butler wants tops. Go and Butler gets shot tops. The match. And that is Larry Butler. a real turn up for the Bucks after Bates beat Butler 4 0 at the end of yesterday. Larry gets his own back with a 4 1 win at the start of today. The averages very similar 86 across the board there. 50% on the doubles though for Larry Butler, including that key. 104 after the unconventional 138 kicked things off for Bates, but it's a bad start in his bid to top the table.
Welcome back to the Moda Super Series where Larry Butler has got the better of Owen Bates by four legs as well. Good quality encounter that. 86 averages apiece, one ton plus checkout apiece to open up the day. Well, game two sees Colin Osborne who so showed a lot of soul yesterday up against the soldier in Leonard Gates and of all the things they did yesterday, it all comes down to this. A defeat today would put them on the back burner. But enough of the killer's puns. Scott, Chris, you've got to help me out, yeah? We'll try and look on the bright side, Henry. And I'm sure the winner of this match will as well, because they will be the sole leader of this group. Leonard Gates is the man in P1 at the moment. 12 points and a plus 12 leg difference. That's seven better in legs than Colin Osborne. But legs may not matter, as we were saying. And if you can beat your rivals, and it's in your hands. Okay, first leg is Leonard to throw first. Game on. It's suddenly out of the hands of Owen Bates after being beaten 4-1 by Larry Butler in the opener. So the winner of this match now knows that not only will they be top, but they will be clear at the top of the table. 55. And with that comes its own pressure. One of those who can break free here in Nine, the first couple of legs, I believe, is going to be the winner of this game. You don't want to feel you're chasing this game, I don't think. And the gates will be chasing this game if he continues to hit treble twenties like that. And when the pair met yesterday, it was a whitewash win for Colin Osborne after being beaten 4-1 by Gates on Monday. Six dominant wins either way for each player. Interestingly, isn't it? Just goes to show that averages aren't the be-all and end-all because Colin Osborne had a standout day in terms of the average stats on Monday. 100. Only won two matches. Uh, averaging over 90. And he dropped off by about four points yesterday overall. And won four matches. Yeah, but that was his last two games. He struggled a little bit yesterday, wasn't it? The averages were still right on it for the first three, which which put him in the position to be able to top the group. And then he kind of limp, limped over the line to make sure he made 85. 12 points. So um, a different day today. And I'm sure that six. he'll be back up around that 90 average again today, feeling fresh and... Hunting down at 161. Colin, you're 161. You could see a brilliant 167 from Conan Whitehead yesterday. I'm surprised at the top soft tip talent. You know, we've Leonard never Leonard seen Leonard Gates 50. go straight for the bull with three darts. He tends to go 18 double 16. Okay, he does on the again. First leg. Leonard Gates. That'll settle him down. Get his first leg of the day. Second leg, it's Colin to throw first. Game on. Did see that straight for the ball on the women's series last year. One of the Japanese players, Kasumi Sato, obviously one who plays soft hip a lot. She 60. went straight for the ball and she hit it as well to win the match. And the ball is tiny compared to what it is in soft tip as well, isn't it? I mean, it is the smallest target on the board. 140. Do remember once as well, Phil Taylor doing it to Kevin Painter to win a match. 44. And that would probably back in the day where if you went double double, it was classed as a bit of a Mickey taken rude. Yeah, I think Kevin Painter saw it exactly like that, to be honest, Scott. 40. Painter, like Leonard, made it to the semi finals at the seniors last week. Yeah, still throwing very, very tidy. 123. I only have one Kevin Painter story. He beat me uh, twice on a challenge tour weekend and then announced his retirement the day after the challenge tour, which I thought, thanks, big Kev. Cheers, mate. Really good darts from Gates there, a maximum. First of the day for him. The 1-4-1, but after nine, 20. rather than four nine. Yeah, 
So Leonard, trouble 19 here, Six, 62 left. Oh, lovely last start. He waited, but it's best to wait for all those out there. If there's any youngsters watching, it's best to to watch, uh, wait, and don't just throw the dart in a hurry. 100. Leonard, you require 32. The result is, here we go, 13 dart leg coming in for Leonard Gates. We go with the 17 he had in the first one. 16. Colin, you require 146. Osborne returns for 146. Yeah, this would really hurt if he were to take it. Gates having squandered three darts at double. Not going to be the case, though. So Leonard looking to lead 2-0. Remember what I said at the start of this match, that both Leonard games Maguire, between these 16. two this week have gone heavily in favour of the victor. 4-1 and 4-0 either way. Eight. Well, and you require 120. Is Leonard knowing the importance of this leg? Oh, he's got the treble. 20 and tops to leave Leonard Gates feeling Go bruised. What a shot that is Colin from Colin Osborne. Osborne. After Gates missed six starts at double, Osborne weighs in with a whopper. 120 finish. To land a real Leonard blow to, to Leonard first. Gates. And a wry smile still on Ozzy's face. <laughs> Can't believe he got there to steal that. One yeah, fabulous reaction from Colin Osborne. Just going back to that chat we had about going for the bull, you know, first start. There have been a couple of players here that have done it as well. And the reason for it is because they'd left it after nine darts. 43. Chris Mason, the one that springs to mind. Bull for a ten darter. I've actually seen it on a county stage. One of the guys that actually plays in the seniors tour, Dennis Crane, uh, uh, left bullseye after we were playing Somerset, Dorset against Somerset, I think. And he turned around to the crowd and said, one dart, one dart, went straight for the ball and hit it, which was like the most cool 60. thing I think I've ever seen in a game of darts, to tell the crowd you're going to do it. One dart, one dart, point at them, and then bang, it was brilliant. I myself have won legs of darts 60. on the bullseye, Scott. Not by hitting it, by going nearest the ball after we've been playing, throwing at doubles for half an hour. <laughs> You've been on double one for 20 minutes. Yeah, yeah. Osborne's one in the lipstick again. 180. That's his first of the day. Gets our referee, Owen Binks, limbering up his lungs. 60. Do you have a favourite 180 call when you're on the stage? You mentioned something at the seniors, didn't you? Yeah, my, my favourite 180 caller is Paul Hinks, and he was on both Ooh, my games, fine? which then then puts, uh, you know, uh, pressure on me to hit a 180 while he's on there. You know, probably my second one is probably um, Jacques Newlap. Probably he calls a good 180. 99. Will he be calling game shot here? Owen Binks when Leonard Gates comes back. He's just missed six starts at double, remember? Before Osborne picked Nine, his pocket. 99. Leonard, you require an easy six. In the Oliver Twist for this match. Well, it is one dart at the bull. We spoke it into existence. 37. Colin, you require 74. So this is for a big break of throw for Osborne. Oh, he's nailed the treble 14, double 16. Slide it down the inside. Game shot the Perfect third from Osborne. Colin Osborne. As he goes 2 1 up, breaks Leonard Gates' throw. And now has the dance. Well, against Colin to throw lead. first. Game on. Yeah, proper artful dodger stuff this, isn't it, from Colin Osborne. In every leg, Leonard has had darts to win the leg. But Osborne hasn't passed up an opportunity. Two combo checkouts. 140. To lead the match. Six. 
60. Osborne opens with a 140. 97. Back in that treble again. Eight in all sorts of problems here. 60. And looks like the the size of the task might just be weighing heavy on Leonard Gates. We know it's a, a five match 94. race today to the checkered flag and the top place reward is two days off and a spot of finals night on 59. Saturday but being given such Probably a big game 170. against one of your rivals so early Maybe the significance of it is just a heavy burden for Gates to bear. Yeah, Osborne's not the stuffing out of him, really. In a, a couple of legs there. and Taking a long old time approaching the hockey there. He's trying to compose himself and trying to not let the game pass him by is what he's trying to do, but... 47. Ultimately, Call in your record, 126. the perils of this dance is the harder you try, <laughs> the worse you get. And Osborne didn't even need 86. to concern himself with treble 19 and single 19 bull. He can just set up leisurely and leave Leonard Gates under an enormous amount of pressure. 85. It was a pitching wedge to the edge of the green, 40. wasn't it, rather than going for the green. Now he's going for the red. Game shot on the fourth and he bets it. Colin and it's Osborne. a 3-1 lead for Colin Osborne, who could have easily been 3-0 behind in this match. But the finishing has been fine from him. Game on. And the opposite for that man, who seems out of practice. All Leonard can do here is concentrate on this one leg and, and concentrate on winning this one leg to get him back into the game. To give 140. Him then a chance to try and break the Osborne throw in leg six. He can't think that far ahead. It's got to be this leg. Oh, that one dropped out of Colin's hand. 45. He's a fingertip holder rather than a right in the palm of your hand, and that one just slipped out of his fingers. Fifty-five. There is a, a little argument to say that as Osborne Whoa, gets so spot on and he's certainly winning this argument, so it's not actually a bad thing to see players sometimes lose the grip of the darts when they're in the fingers because when I speak to people who do coaching and stuff like that, they say the biggest mistake that darts players that they coach make is gripping the dart too tight, squeezing the dart, if you like. It's actually quite a feather-like grip you need, isn't it, when you're throwing your dart? 100. Yeah, it certainly is, and... Uh... I have miscounted a little bit in there again, which we have come to expect this week. Although not a lot he could do about it. He hit the treble 20 with the last start. Yeah, it was earlier in the visit, wasn't it? Yeah, he needed to come out earlier, but he's now on 66 with Osborne back on 176. And should he take the 66? 60. Then you require 66. We have just wasted our breath. <laughs> Although he has been struggling on doubles. Seven missed on the spin. Eight missed on the spin. Game he puts an end to that trend. Leonard Gates. And keeps himself in this contest. An intriguing battle that it is. Gates. Seems like it's Colin to throw first. Getting Game the on. most opportunities. But Colin Osborne making the most of his opportunities. 130. Yeah, that seven. is the story of the match, isn't it, so far? Ah, uh, those early... Or misses from Leonard Gates. One truly hundred. left the gate open, and Osborne the horse did bolt. Following this, Gary Hayes against Conan Whitehead. So one of them will put themselves on ten points with Larry Butler. Whitehead looked completely buried in this group, and then suddenly won his final three matches. Flicked a switch yesterday. Including that big one six seven finish as well. So 
once Conan had relaxed and realized he was a little bit out of the mix, um, he we saw his proper game then. 100. Is Colin Osborne closing in? Speaking of 167 finishes, that's what he's left, but he isn't not going to have to go for it. 38. Colin I'm going to predict that if Osborne hits a treble 20 with his first start, he'll stay there for his second. He's probably done me a favour there by missing, and I don't have to look foolish. Nine, he won. Harry Gates really needed a 140 here, and he's not going to get it. 100. Colin, you require 76. Osborne now very much red-hot favourite for the leg. And therefore, for the match. Go and it's brilliant from match. Colin Osborne in Colin that doubling Osborne. department. Leonard Gates had twice as many shots at the outer ring as Osborne did, but the wizard waved his wand and found his magic 80% success rate for him including that fabulous 120 finish and after a slow start to the match he punished Gates for all those missed darts and he moves to the top of the table Osborne makes his move coming next Gary Hayes takes on Conan Whitehead Welcome back to the Modus Super Series. And that could really be a big result in the group because Colin Osborne's got the better of Leonard Gates by four legs to two. Gates, who had six starts in his hand to open up a 2-0 lead. Osborne taking advantage. 80% on the doubles. A 120 finish changing the tie. And it swings the table in his favour. He moves on to 14 points in the group. Gates and Bates are both on 12 that is after opening defeats to their day. And so next up for us is the final game of the first round of fixtures. It sees Colonel Whitehead in action. He takes on Gary Hayes. That's going to be watched. Well, we're watching the darting as well as the dancing. It's Chris Murphy and Scott Mitchell. <laughs> Indeed we are. Conan busting some moves there. It, uh, yeah, this, you know, if Colin, if 
going back to what H was saying there, Colin now goes on the run of four out of five. Uh, Murphy, he, he's obviously going to be now looking favourite for the group. Yeah, well, if he wins three more matches, that takes him on to 20 points, doesn't it? Which means that Gates or Bates would have to win all of their remaining matches. So, very difficult task. Okay, Only first one of them can do it. To have to play each other, of course. Game on. And if it is Owen Bates, then he's also got a 10 leg deficit to overturn there as well. So Osborne doing himself a lot of favours in the opening match. He won't play again until game six when he does meet Gary Hayes. In action now against the rejuvenated Ooh, Conan Whitehead. So let's see if he can carry on the form that he produced at the end of yesterday in the early part of today. And I want to see Gary Hayes just relax today. I want to see the real Gary Hayes today. He 100. is quite clearly a talented dart player. And at the moment, he, he just hasn't really had the rub of the green. Uh, yesterday on moving 45. day, we saw some flashes of brilliance on Monday. And we want to see that now today. And so that he heads into either Group B or Group C uh, with a bit of confidence so that he can hey, make the Saturday night. Yeah, I think in Group A, if you're finishing sixth and it is close at the bottom of the table, you're not overly concerned, but what you we really don't want to see for Gary Hayes, for his sake, is him get cut adrift 100. today. To see Larry Butler and Conan Whitehead kick on and finish a few points ahead of him. If he can stay tight to those players, then he's going to feel pretty confident. 105. Playing them in Group C and the incoming bunch as well. Absolutely. And, and, and more than that, you know, he's a real nice guy as well. I've never met him before. Monday, and, and I've had a couple of chats with him, and he's just a, a genuinely lovely, lovely, nice guy and a, a damn good dart player. So, I've seen the nice guy side now. I want to see the dart player side now. 60. Here comes Conan. 141. Found his range. 110. Double eighteen will probably be the target. It is for double thereof. Ninety-two. Not quite. And you require seventy-four. You just feel with little Gaz, he got needs a couple of those to drop, and it'll change his game totally. Conan's in the wrong bed. Game <laughs> shot. Double, the first double. Leg. Conan and, and that is the story of Gary's week so far, isn't it? Really, he's been playing well enough to get that odd dart at it. Second leg, it's Conan. And he's been throw punished throw. every Game. single time he makes a small mistake. And one da a double is not a mistake when it's hitting the wire like that. It's just unfortunate. Yeah, welcome one to the big school, little guys. And just to compound his misery, Whitehead kicks off leg two with a maximum. And that is exactly what happens. It happens. You, you see this. Yeah, I've been lucky enough to be on the Pro Tour the last couple of years. And you 100. see that happen on the Pro Tour time after time after time. Hitting the treble 20 time after time after time. 140. And the run ends after five perfect darts for Conan Whitehead. Threatening a little bit of history here at the Super Series. Still only seen one nine dart finish in this venue. That was oh, Connor Heenahan, who also had one in our previous venue. Thirty-nine. There we go. The old Robin Hood. I mean, nowhere near Nottingham. Where's the sheriff? Eighty-five. Conan, you're one hundred and forty-two. Sixty-two. We saw the table flash up before this match. Osborne leads on 14, then Gates and Bates on 12, Butler on 10. The winner of this would, of course, join Larry on 10 points, two off second and third. So there's another race going on here as well, isn't there, to get those Group B positions. 
Ford. One of those days Gary where Ford the games Hunter are going to be pretty hits. interesting. Every single one is going to uh, make a difference to one or two of these players and where they end up in the next couple of days. Oh, that's so close. I found that previous Nine, visit interesting by Whiten as well. Point. 75 Bulls. left, two darts, decided to go treble 17 rather than 25 bull. So it could only set up in the end. And this time Hayes does get a bit of rub of the green. Gary require 40. Yeah, and three darts in his hand. He's It's been a rarity Gage for him. on the second leg. Like you say, Gary when he gets Hayes. three darts in his hand, he generally only uses one. Break back then. Gary Hayes. That means he Gary effectively has progress. control of the contest. Yeah, but I think that's something that he's not really felt that he has had throughout the course of the week. Control. One Reminder, of course, of the players to join the group. So second and third in this group will be in Group B from 10 p.m. tomorrow evening, joined by Adam Hunt, Prakash Jiwa, and Rob Collins. Twenty-five. Four, fifth, and six. Back in action tomorrow morning. Same time, same place as Luke Getty, John Brown, and Callum Francis filling up Group C. One hundred. Sixty. Fifty-eight. Looking at that lineup, whoever comes out of here and goes into Group B, what a what a stonking group that's going to be. Yeah, statistically, a better chance of getting through. But when you actually Ooh. see the players that are in it, you might change your mind about that. I, w I was just about to say exactly the same. You've took the words right out of my mouth there, Meatloaf. Seven. Well, I mean, Binks, the match referee, calling out the Len Goodman there. Not something the players want 58. to hear. There's nothing good about that man. Hitting seven. Hate that as a player. You hate it. Right-handed 140, we know it as. It's and not it called seven in the dart player's manual. And we've probably 40. seen a, an overreaction there because he's then fired two darts in the five segment, which is like he's over-adjusted coming back. So it's obviously carried over into the next visit. From what was quite a commanding no, position in the leg as well. And still in with a chance. Needs to try and drop one or two into the treble, and he gets a better chance 100. than Whitehead. And you require 100 and nothing he can do if Whitehead cleans this up. Still only needs one treble to get himself a chance at the bullseye. 81. Let's see what he thought of that. Gary require 96. I wide and handsome on that one for Conan. So it's Gary Hayes will get two chances, you hope, at the treble 20. No, he's made a mistake with the first. 36. Tony and require 41. No real pressure on the 41 from Whitehead. That's for another break of throw. Game shot and in the it third goes. leg. Conan Whitehead. So all three legs against the darts. Well, like it's Conan and that to means throw Conan first. is Game back on. in control. Following this will be the All-American encounter between Larry Butler and Leonard Gates. Gates looking to cancel out that defeat he had against Six. Colin Osborne earlier. Osborne meets Hayes, who actually did beat him at the back end of yesterday. Yeah, he did. 100. Colin had just dropped off of that 90 average that he'd been doing for the day, and... Harry Hayes was upon him and punished him for drop off 60. in form. Sixty. Come 
happens around the side of that first dart. But there's a partial blocker. And his style of throw, it does open up the treble for him to go around the outside. 60. It's been a relatively scrappy game of darts so far. Whitehead still has that break of throw advantage after all three legs have gone against 100. the darts. It's just really waiting for somebody to take it by the scruff of the neck. And sometimes you never do, Murph, because 100. you're trying so hard because you know it's there to be had. It's a it's a strange situation to be in as a dart player. I think most people up and down the country that are watching that play in leagues and stuff know 170. that those games are, uh, are hard to go and get. And Conan there, we were talking yesterday about the bullseye shots and sometimes going for the 25 means you're still aiming at the bullseye. Conan Rice smile there. He, he hit it smack bang centre. 140. Yeah, Conan, you require 11. The concept of going for hitting what you're actually aiming no at score. but not wanting it and now he's made a real mess here Gary require 41 Interesting. you do have the option in that scenario of going for the ball with dart number 2 and then once you've hit the ball or the 25 then you know where you can go with the third dart still shaking his head 9 can you require 11 well, I think little Gaz missed that because he was so close on the behind to the 12 wire you saw him took a big Puff of the cheeks yeah, and everything. The four play. And, and I think Golden he kind of convinced himself he was lucky to even hit the nine. And once you start thinking like that, you're not going to hit the double. So he gets Gary to throw first. Conan steps straight back in. Game on. Hits the big three. He don't need a second opportunity. He was always going to take that. Getting away from Gaz. Going towards 96. Conan. Who would then be on a run of four. Successive wins, actually, after only winning one of his first 94. seven matches. I did say yesterday Conan is one of those players that can always go on a run at any point and 60. Like you say, done exactly that from winning his first game yesterday. One hundred. I like the way that the, <laughs> the dart didn't quite sit in his hand right there, the second dart. And he'd have to give the dart a stare there as if to say, why don't you go in the right place in my hand? 60. Mug? And then throws it straight into the treble 20 to teach it a lesson. One hundred and forty. Uh, and he's now stretching. A lead in this leg. 80. Conan, you record 167. Bill for Gary Hayes there. He's had a dart to go 2-2. Two, two, two darts to go 2-2 two, two and missed it. And now he's being well and truly 135. punished. And now the darts start falling out of the dartboard as well just to make you feel pig sick. Yeah, well, not tempted by the 167 having hit it yesterday. Just staying business like, professional. Setting up double 16 for a 4 1 win. Game shot on the man. So Conan, Conan closes Whitehead. out what turns out to be a scrappy old game. He'll be happy with the two points. He moves on to 10 and jumps up to fourth in the table. Four out of 10 on the doubles for him. They were both running in the mid 70s, but the last couple of legs, Conan picked it up. We head to a break. And we'll see you when we come back.
Well, welcome back to the Moda Super Series where it's a win for Conan Whitehead in his first game of the day. He gets the better of Gary Hayes by four legs to one, doing so with an 83 average and four out of ten on the doubles. That completes the first round of fixtures for the day. Next up for us is the battle between Larry Butler and Leonard Gates. I want to go and sort my voice out whilst Chris Murphy and Scott Mitchell provides the action. Yeah, well, as we come back to the live action here at the Modus Super Series. We have the two Americans going at it toe to toe. Yesterday, Anna Gates won the encounter, four legs to one, and the day before that, Larry Butler won it 4-3. For Butler, I suppose there's the carrot being dangled that should he win this one against Gates, he will go level with Gates on 12 points in the table. Okay, first leg, it's Larry to throw first. Game on. Yeah, I just do wonder if there is still the, the, the chance of something that we've seldom seen before. One of the players who wasn't in that race at the start 43. of the day ended up somehow winning the race. It would take all sorts of meltdowns. But Leonard Gates, if he loses again here, 60. in the space of half an hour, would be really facing an uphill task. And as you say, Scott, Butler would be level, and therefore in with as much chance of him of climbing the mountain to the top. Yeah, indeed. And I thought Larry played really well, I thought, against Owen Bates as well, first game up today. So... 100. The early exchanges here are going to be vital, I think, to the outcome of 44. this match. The best of seven is not a long game in any stretch of the imagination. The one mistake. 140. One big score. Grabbing the game by the scruff of the neck. Could be the difference in the outcome on this one. Yeah, and it's one win apiece between them this week so far. Larry winning the match in seven legs on Monday before Gates won 4 1 24 hours ago. 100. The question is, Gates still ruined those misses against Osborne early, early in that game. Yeah, three score. Ninety-eight left. Treble twenty for double nineteen. Sixty-three. Larry McQuire ninety-five. Treble nineteen. All bullseye. Leaves seventy. That leaves. 10. 90. Both players missing Leonard opportunity and both players left in awkward positions here. Gates may choose to split. He has double 16. That's 30. the pleasure on the split. Larry Raquan, 5. That's the pleasure of the split. That's one for Larry. Now double 2. Game shot in the and first he nails leg. it. And Larry holds Butler. his throw in the first leg. It was a 20-dart leg. Second leg is Leonard to throw first. Game on. And Larry he showed the, showed the way to go on five, didn't he? We saw that bit of a mess from Owen Bates earlier on, going for three and hitting the double. Eighty-five. Well, the next match as well, it sort of puts us in the same scenario as this one. Owen Bates facing Conan Whitehead. If Conan wins that, well, we could be in a situation where what we were pitching as a three-horse race that might become a five-horse race because we could have Osborne on 14 and then Gates, Bates, Whitehead and Butler all on 12 after 12. The big thing 84. for Colin Osborne, of course, would be that he 
would be on 14 after 11, meaning he could go four clear in that scenario if he beats Gary Hayes. 121. And in the position that he's in, would he want to drop down into that group B if he doesn't top the group? And I'm not sure I would. 140. Get it done. Get it won. One hundred and forty. Great camera angle that you saw. The last dart was thrown perfectly, but caught the flight. And went skidding above the treble twenty, and here we go. One hundred and eighty. Energy required sixty. He's a pest, isn't he, Larry Butler? Game oh, shot the great. second. Great there. use of that dart. Bounced gets. it in right off the side of the barrel and into the bed. So look, it's Larry that to throw, the first. throw for Leonard. Game I think on. that was very, very important. Giving Larry a 2 0 lead and then having the throw as well. Would have put Leonard in dangerous 40. territory. It's an interesting point you made as well about topping the group. And you do get some players, in fact, nearly every player interviewed after topping the group says, Oh, I'm not oh, sure whether I'd like to keep playing on Thursday and Friday to get ready for Saturday. Look. I don't believe that one bit because never have any of those players gone as far to as say, well, look, give it to second place and I'll join group B and C or C and try again. I don't think you get a choice. Once you top the group, you top the group, Murph. I don't think you get a choice. It's not like, you know, winning a coin toss at a football match. Whoa. Which end you want? Yeah, I'll, take, the ball. I'll take second place. But yeah, I don't think anybody in their right mind would risk not making it through having made it through. 78. Particularly now, I think there's been a bit of a myth about players who win on Monday, sorry, winning Group A, then don't go and win on Saturday. That's been dispelled 100. lately. 100. Recently, quite a lot of the Group A winners have gone on to win the group. Indeed, it happened last week with John Worsley. I think the only time I've ever seen people sort of uh, give anything away at darts is probably Phil Taylor when he used to give the ball up. That's the only time I've ever seen anything of similar sort. You ever employed that tactic yourself? 97. <laughs> I've never Larry been good enough on the ball to win it. <laughs> right, can Larry land a blow here? Double top. 86. Leonard, you require 24. Big darts coming in from Leonard Gates. That is tight. Game shot on the third. And that is tidy. Leonard Gates. Fourth leg, it's Leonard to throw first. Game on. We were talking yesterday about Leonard Gates, and he's, he's at it again. He's different starting positions. 45. When he approaches the hockey. And wildly, wildly different ones as well. Find it very interesting. I wonder if... Uh, if he does make it through and chats to Henry, whether Henry could ask him whether that is actually a conscious thing or whether he's unaware totally. I was thinking that, actually. I was thinking... Big H has always got the right questions. I'm sure he's been watching from up the balcony. And uh, he'll be he'll be on that, should he get the chance, I'm sure. Well, you see, pretty dead central on approach to Oki there. We get the same camera angle when he approaches the hockey next time. No, I, I reckon he won't. won't be in the same place. One hundred and thirty-five. Fortunate deflection there for Larry Butler. Exactly the same place as last time. Now he is shuffling across, but that's to try and get past 100. those darts and find a way into the bed. Although he has scored the 100 from 265. Again, not much he could have done with the last dart. No, but it's too. the thinking a little bit further out, isn't it, that's missing? Yeah, just a touch. It's only throwing one dart in a different place. It's not It's not all three darts about it. You know, once you've 66. thrown that now first dart, he needed to come out and then go back up.
42. Leonard, you require 99. Right, 99 here. It's not only the players that struggle with this sometimes. Ten or a six. There's the ten. So it's double sixteen. Game shot on the fourth leg. Leonard gets. And it is game shot. Yeah, there was a slight breakdown yesterday from that man Owen Binks on a ninety-nine checkout with Colin White. A little bit of a brain game. freeze from Binks on that occasion. Please learn from his mistakes. That's all you can do in life, Scott. I don't know. Whenever I see ninety-nine on the board, I always think of Eight, ice cream. Three. So. You you lose me at the scoring part. It's definitely 99 is my favourite ice cream. I'm sure you've taken it out hundreds and thousands of times. 140. <laughs> With a flake. Well, in the context of the group, this is a big win for Leonard Gates. Bouncing back if he does indeed close it out from that defeat. 100. To the now lone league leader, Colin Osborne. It would temporarily, at least, put Gates back to the top of the pile. 140. 99. 100. Yeah, big last start there from Gates. Done that a couple of times in this match. That trouble 20 with his last start. Now, 21. all sorts of problems. Energy 121. 1-2-1 one, one for the win. Can't be done now. It can be left handy. 95. He's not thought about that at all, Leonard Gates. Really should have been a, a treble 18, but 140. if he hits it, he won't care. 26. Game shot on the match. Exactly what he was doing Leonard there, Leonard Gates. Gates. Unorthodox finishing once again, but finishing all the same. It's a 4-1 win in the All-American battle to Leonard Gates. Puts him back level at the top of the table. And a 96 average there, so not too shabby from Larry Butler at an 89. A good match there, good contest. We'll see you after the break.
this is the Lotus Super Series. One hundred and eighty. Yes, yeah, so we saw him rain under the confetti, didn't we, back in October. Conan Whitehead's back on the stage now here at the Super Series. But before we look ahead to that, let's look back at a victory for Leonard Gates by four legs to one. He got the better of Larry Butler in our last game, doing so impressively with an average of 96. That is some way to come back following that opening game defeat for his day against Colin Osborne earlier on. Next up for us, it is Conan Whitehead. He's in action against Owen Bates, a player looking to get his first win of the day. And we're going to tuck into this one in the company of our commentary team. It is Scott Mitchell and first, Chris Murphy. Thank you, Henry. Owen Bates and Conan Whitehead are having a little bit of a discussion before this all-important match, really. Whitehead can go level with Bates on a dozen points and maybe just put himself in the picture. Who knows? It's unlikely, but Colin Osborne is back in action next. And if he beats Gary Hayes, then he's going to move on to 16, which would be four clear. So more important, really, more likely that if Owen Bates wins this, then he certainly will be in that race. A race that Leonard Gates has kept alive by beating Larry Butler in the previous match it temporarily puts him top of the table the american six legs better off than colin osborne but whitehead on a winning run okay first leg it's conan to throw first the barbarian Game on. has beaten his opponents now in his last four matches as he continues his charge up the group a table what are you expecting from this one scott i'm expecting a, bit, a little bit of nerves from Owen bates early doors because obviously there's so much riding on it for him. Conan has been a different Conan since the middle of yesterday afternoon. So it's pretty good. It's a steady start from both. It's a good game, but it's like we were saying, One top of the show, every game seems to have massive significance to who's going to go where in the table 100 68 Conan in there when he hit 68 you can quite clearly see that he is aiming for the left hand side of that treble 20 some, some players will aim for a corner to start off with or whatever. But when Conan had the darts in the position that they were in there, he had a treble one and a treble 20. And then he has oh, that ability too. that he can aim for not just the whole treble 20, just one half uh, and hit it. And a lot of players do do that. He had a, a thumping win against Owen Bates yesterday. Conan White came out a 4-1 winner. Bates beating Conan 4-3 when the pair met on Monday, in their maiden meeting. 45. I mean, if I go 144. Bit of a chance to break here. Both players on big finishers. 55. Can I go 136? So it'll be the two treble 20s, the old fashioned route. Be happy with the ton now from this visit. 60. Not quite to be, so Bates coming back for the 89. We'll start treble 19s. He's got to go 20. He's gone treble 20 for double five. We've seen him successful at this. 79. Not to be this time. Only requires 76. 60. 16. And double top. 56. 
He's making a habit out of that during this winning run, just taking the chances when his opponent has missed. Game shown the but first leg. breaks oh, in nice. leg one. And we could have that three-way tie all square again if he does go on Second leg is Owen to throw this first. match. However, Osborne, game. of course, would have the game in hand. Double five is one of those iffy doubles as well. You really don't want to leave it, and you do, really don't want to be going for it under pressure, really. So I go for double five when you're 200 ahead. You know, it doesn't seem to be too much of a problem then, but when you're going for it and it's... Uh, it's a really tight game. One Not a double that's a fancy double by players. Ninety six. And once you've missed one dart at it outside, you know that if you drag it low, then the shot the visit is over. Forty five. So really clutch stuff that from Owen. Why you've got to be good at tops and tens, Murph. That's why you've got to be good at tops and tens. Yeah, it seems to be more of a trend these days as well to, to leave tops and tens. It used to be the taut way, didn't it, to try and leave double 16 as often as possible. 128. Yeah, agreed. It's, it's, uh, I think it's probably easier to count. I think everybody's got 40 in their head. Before 60. they start a leg, probably, and uh, until the leg materialises, it's it's difficult to know. But scoring and the counting has definitely got better over the last five or six years. I think the Dutch has probably been the king of the counters. The the English have always been down the old-fashioned route. Ninety-six. Yeah, I speak to the referees McCoy, sometimes 80. about you know who the best counters are, and one name that always comes up is Yella Clarsen. The speed he does it as well. Bullseye for Conan Whitehead here. Sixty-three. Owen Just McCoy, drifting 51. wide of the button, and now Owen Bates has his finger over the button. Big chance here to get a tight grip on this game. Game shown the second leg. And he duly takes Owen it. Bates. So look, it's Conan to throw first. That was a good holder throw there from Owen Bates. 100. Because we're in that scrappy region on the averages of the 70s, so... Nobody's pulling up any trees here at the minute in this le in this game, but fifty-five. He's winning those scrappy legs. Owen Bates has got two of those on the board. Cannot be removed. Owen now one hundred. Finding his second ton in this leg. If you're looking to hold throw. 45. 40. Well, take a moment to um, give you some breaking news, because I think this is pretty significant from elsewhere in darts, that the entry lists have been announced for the upcoming Players' Championship events at the weekend, and a pro tour qualifiers for two European tour events. And in the European tour qualifier, the first name on that list. 100. A certain Gary Anderson. Very, very interesting breaking news that Anderson hasn't played in Euro tours for about half a decade now. 180. Got to give a call. 161. Maybe he sees that. So keep that. Top 32. Ranking, he's going to have to start doing them because you know it's, it's available money out there. Yeah, interesting to have left it so late and not played in the one he could have qualified without having to go to the qualifiers. But anyway, it's his choice. I mean, Bates has choice and chance is the bullseye here. Forty-six. Conan, you require you feel this could be the key exchange in the match. If Whitehead wins it, then it's game on. If Bates returns and wins, game it's game one. But it is Conan the leg Whitehead. in the ledger for Whitehead. Excellent clinical kill. 
of the 83. So as you say, it is now game on. Look at Zorin to throw first. You can just see a little reaction from Conan there as well. He wants to keep this winning run going. Ball One on the spin. 180. And if you're looking for reaction, we just saw it there from Owen Bates. 45. Yeah, second max of the match for him. Yeah, I think he actually gave himself a little boo there for missing 60. the treble 20 there for a second 180. I yeah. love that. I like that. No crowd in during the week to do it for him, so did it himself. We'll be an audience on Saturday night, of Whoa, course, and you can be part of it. Lifting your 180 cards aloft at moments like that. Tickets available absolutely free of charge via dartshop.tv if you can get to the live lounge in Portsmouth. Play starts at 7.30 p.m., an earlier start time, so you can uh, enjoy your evening at the darts and maybe carry it on elsewhere. Not au okay with the nightlife of Portsmouth myself, but it's an option. Yeah. 89. So nicely tidied by Ern Bates. 32 after 12. Not too shabby. Yeah, he's a player who does sink quite far out, isn't he? There on 1 2 1. 100. Very rarely do you see a player start in the 19s, obviously, because he can't finish if they hit the single. But because Conan yeah, wasn't on the finish, the he was thinking, Bates. what's the best way of me leaving double 16? Which does seem to be his preferred route. And nails it there first he start. Conan to throw first. To back up how he feels about double 16. Good leg of darts. 13 darter. For Bates, this game is catching fire. 140. Yeah, the touch paper is beginning to be lit. 60. Ninety-seven. That's pretty smart from... Whitehead as well as he switched to the 19s there and hit the single he would have been on 262 which would have made it slightly more difficult to leave the finish now he can hit a straight ton and be on one Ninety five. not such good count in there yeah he was unlucky in the treble 60. five but by the last start, there was not a lot he could do about it. So rather, again, like we said yesterday, not really about the counting, really about unfortunate bit of drift there into the five. You must have known you as dart players sometimes as well when you throw a really good dart and it just goes on the wire of the five or the one and you throw a bad one and you no, score a 20 for it because Conan, you it might be miles 32. higher with the treble. It's a worse dart than one you throw, but it gets more points. That as well, a good dart can block a double, can't it? can and the way that Conan's darts stick up he, he is honestly if he goes any further across he's going to no have to score. pay to get back in I mean, 148 well he would expect to be back and he will be back this time with a, a clear bed once again 56 and one of the clerks of the game 32. threw a good dart blocked the bed throw a bad one it's completely open and it's a good one that's blocked it again. Unbelievable, I think, was what he muttered to himself then. Double eight to stay in the game. Game and he gets on the it. fifth leg. Conan and he did Whitehead. a double double on the eights earlier, so should have just chucked one inside earlier. Conan had the double eight. Game so over. Let leg first. over. Game on. It might just be. Game over for Conan White with any outside 55. hopes of climbing to the top of the table. It looked like that a while ago, and then he started winning all his matches. But if Bates wins this, it's three players tied on 14, one 56. of them with a game in hand. That's Colin Osborne, who's in action next against Gary Hayes. Remember, though, Hayes did win their meeting yesterday. 
no, and it would also seven. put a four point buffer between the top three and the bottom three, meaning a difficult task for anybody to breach that top three and get into group hey, B at that C5. point. One hundred and forty. Nice. One forty there. From Bates at a crucial time, and you feel that Conan's going to have to respond with a treble minimum requirement, and he hasn't done it. But Owen Bates is a hundred in front plus these. Ninety-seven. Nice last dart. Two hundred and three in front. So one eighty here. One oh, he just never knows when to give up, does he? Never gives up, Conan Whitehead. Great dart that double sixteen for the match. Big moment. Big pause. Ninety six. The big dart he wanted. Thirty five. Twenty-seven. Only require sixteen. So it's Bates looking at double eight. A four-two win. That was a little wayward. So he composed himself again. Game show. And nails the, match. the double. Owen Bates. Double four. It's a four-two win to Owen Bates. That sees him go level at the top on fourteen points. This table today is going to be topsy-turvy. But Owen Bates takes the game with an 87 average. 4 out of 10 on the doubles. 40% checkout. It's not too shabby. We'll catch you after the break.
Welcome back to the Moda Super Series where Owen Bates has sealed a big victory against Conan Whitehead in our fifth game of the day here at the Live Lounge in Portsmouth. Next up for us, it's the battle between the bookenders in the table as Colin Osborne takes on Gary Hayes in the commentary box. Here's Scott Mitchell and Chris Murphy. Well, there are still three players in with a squeak of getting through to finals night in this group. Colin Osborne is the man in the box seat, really. Second in the table at the moment on leg difference, but this is a game in hand for the Wizard. He is looking in a very strong position after winning his opening match against Leonard Gates. That really laid the gauntlet down to Gates. And Owen Bates, who lost his first to Larry Butler. But a bounce back from Bates, uh, beating Conan Whitehead, ending that four-match winning streak. Sees that we're back to that three-way tie. And I think there are a couple of players now in that practice room cheering on Gary Hayes here. <laughs> yeah, there sure would be. I'd be in there with my pom-poms out if I was involved, I can tell you. OK, first leg, it's Collins to throw first. Game on. Sorry, just trying to get that vision out of my head. Yeah, the darts match again in a moment. Me and Pom Poms. <laughs> Got in Pompey this week. I'm in Pompey, yeah, definitely. Providing the 60. expert analysis here at the Modus Super Series. Do you think it is now Colin Osborne's to lose effectively? Everyone's waiting for a mistake from him. Yeah, I think so. But I think this is also a pressure game for him because this is one that he'll be expecting to win. Gary Hayes beat him yesterday 4-2, so he would be wanting to put a bit of revenge on that. And, of course, Hayes will be looking to keep the little run going against Colin Osborne. They both originate from the same neck of the woods. Yeah, two T-side tungsten talents. One hundred and eighty. Colin, you're one hundred and thirty-six. Nonchalantly throws the last dart in there, Gary Hayes, and brings him right back into it. Fifty-eight. Gary, you're one hundred and sixty-one. So you'd think just a ton here, even a ton here, would put pressure on the Osborne shot, and now uh, he's had another one fall 35. out. Thirty-five. That's so Colin unfortunate. 78. Level 18 will be the first port of call here for Colin Osborne. Double 12 Game will win the leg, the and he's looking Colin very Osborne. much like a group winner in waiting. Colin Osborne winning all the big moments. He's finishing for the day now. Second Five out of six. To throw first. Game on. Sixty. Osborne then with the advantage of those thrown second this time round. Sixty. In this situation, Hayes would just be looking to hold 60. his own throw and. Try and give himself a base to work from over the rest of the game. It's some, uh, something that a player, uh, I particularly, I do think of things like that when you're 1-0 oh, down. And just try and get yourself a leg on the board. Give yourself a base to build on. You don't want to be building on sand or clay, that's for sure. 140. Yeah, and, you know, state the obvious time, but you can only win one leg at a time, can't you? It's easy to think about what's gone or what might be coming, but... Stay in the present. 140. Mm. 
100. Hayes is a very straight up and down thrower, isn't he? Once he hits that treble 20, he, he, he goes either above it or below it when he's trying to find it with the second and third dart, which would 60. indicate that he's an up and down thrower. Gary McGon, 141. Time on his side here, but this has been a, a little issue for, for Gary Hayes. When he gets hey, down below want... 200, often we'll find a dart drifting into the ones or fives. Usually the ones, actually. I did it well there, though. One hundred and forty. Good one forty there to assert pressure. This keeps happening to Gary Hayes here. The Super Series. Game show on the yeah, second. Yeah, nice, nice Gary finish. Hayes. Nice, confident finish. Yeah, well, it's twice in two visits there where we saw him recover a loose start as well. Well, it's Colin to throw first. Has to all go well Game. for Gary Hayes and. Just plant that seed of doubt in Colin Osborne, who's still playing a very, very good standard of darts. That 90s average that he's had for most of his matches, One to be fair. 180. The only reason that he's not averaging that for the the whole week is because he dropped off into the 70s for his last two games yesterday. One thing I noticed about Gary Hayes today, he's changed his shoes today. He had a shoe with a red trim on it, and today... He's not wearing that shoe, so I wonder whether a change of shoes is trying to give him a change of fortune. 35. But it's the little things that you darts players have to think about, isn't it? That the, the comfort factor, you need to feel comfortable on the stage. Uh, we see some darts players in shiny little numbers like those worn by the referee there. But standing in a smart pair of shoes all day long isn't always the most comfortable thing 60. to do. I think a lot of it depends on how you approach the hockey and where your foot goes on the hockey. I know I think Devin Peterson endorses a proper dart shoe that has a like a square toe on the front and a forty five degree angle on each side. Sixty you wouldn't go out thinking you were John Travolta in those on a disco, but um for darts they seem to stand you in good stead and, and put you in the right angle of where you need to be on the hockey. Well, they're right where they need to be. Second of the match for Colin Osborne. Appreciated. Congratulated by Hayes. One hundred and twenty-one. Colin McGoin, forty-six. Just sitting on the shoulder of Osborne, leg after leg here. It's a good display from Gary Hayes. Maybe as good as we have seen from him so far. Game show on the third. Problem leg. is, Colin Osborne. He's run in. To a man who is playing right at the peak of his powers, Colin Osborne, after three legs here. Four legs, it's Gary to throw first. He's up. Game on. At that 101 average. And as you say, Gary Hayes not doing a great deal wrong here. 60. And when he did do something wrong, it was missed the big 20 and he re rectified it and hit the tops when he only had one dart in his hand. 100. He's got to give full credit, full, full credit to Aye, Colin Osborne because he had a very slow start to this group. Difficult day on Monday, Colin Osborne. He lost to Gary Hayes in his very first match. So he's actually been beaten by him on Aye, both days. 85. And... He only picked up a couple of wins. Remember the very last game on Monday was between him and Conan White, and then we said whoever won it could, it could prove to be significant. Well, what a springboard it's proved to be for Osborne. It has, and when, when you're playing him in this sort of mood, here's the, here's the checkout stats here for the last three legs. It's uh, 100. You cannot afford to miss, can you? Yeah, you know what's required. But Hayes has managed to get the beating of the Middlesbrough man twice, as mentioned, 100. and the Gates-Bates rivalry in the back room will both be coming together to hope that Hayes can carry on. 
think in the first match they played on Monday, I think they both had a 93 average as well. It was a stonker of a game. Bit of a meltdown mathematically here from Colin Osborne. Should be looking at the bullseye. But he's worked out in the end. 46, Gary McCormick, 116. It's a nice start to drop in. Lovely. Double 18. 80. Calling you require 170. Well, we said if you get a dart or a double, don't miss it because your opponent won't. He won't get a dart. So Hayes off the hook. And if he returns and hits with one of three darts, then it will be 2 2. Gary required. Easiest way I know to keep your double stats at 100%. Bung one in the fives on a 170. Beautiful. Game shot the four. That is beautiful Gary from Hayes. Gary Hayes, who just keeps proving to be a bit of a nuisance for Colin Osborne this week. Can't get the beating. So if it's Colin to throw first. Game on. T side tungsten toss up. It looks thirty six. A little bit more hopeful now, doesn't it, for Messrs Bates and Gates? He'll be watching this. With interest, seeing Osborne go 36 and saying, come on, Gary, fill it up, man. Hey, oh, they'll be annoyed after that first dart. I think Gary's another one of those players that would have aimed for that side of of that dart and the treble 20 because of where it was. It was in the bottom of the, of the treble, if, if that makes sense. And so the only way round it was one side or the other. And I think he aimed for that right-hand side and was just a touch unfortunate to drift into the treble one. 58. 98. Nothing less than a travel visit here will keep Hayes in touch. That's the wrong travel. That's the right one. Well, Scott Mitchell will be heading up to have a chat with our presenter, Henry Deacon, after this match. 140. I wonder if it will be discussions about the potential of a foregone conclusion of Osborne qualifying. Henry, by the way, today wearing a rather fetching roll neck. I wonder why that yeah, is the day after know. Valentine's Day. Calling you back 132. Let's see if Osborne can bite here. 80, Claudia. Just looking to leave it handy. 92. And that's that safe dart that you mentioned earlier, going for 12s rather than 20s with 52 remaining. Especially with some metal there that could have actually snagged it into the treble. 81. Calling you require 40. Game shot on the nice fifth leg. Nice start at tops Colin there Osborne. from Osborne. Used the first one. Put the pressure so Gary to throw back first. on Game to on. Hayes. Next set of matches. Following this, Larry Butler against Conan Whitehead in a battle between two players one in fourth hundred. and fifth. Maybe one of them might just stay in contention for a Group B berth. Whoever wins that match. So that's got its own significance. Leonard Gates then plays Gary Hayes. 140. And then it will be Owen Bates against Colin Osborne, which if Osborne does close this out, would be really Bates' last chance to stay in the race for top spot. One hundred. Possibly the last chance for anybody to reel Osborne back in. So still players harbouring hopes of Hayes turning this around. And stopping Osborne getting a a sole lead at the top of the table after our second round of fixtures today. One hundred. Solid leg against the darts here from Osborne. Solid leg in general. Sixty. Three tons and a 140 until that 60. 
chance for Osborne to turn the screw. One hundred and eighty. Well, he's done that. Almost there. But that one eighty is third of the match. One hundred and forty. This Calling is for 81. the win that would take him to an outright lead at the top of the table. 78 remaining. 41. Gary Require. Well, the hope now for Osborne is that Hayes doesn't complete this combo. Which he won't. So Ozzy will return to return to the summit. 45. Colin, you require 40. Double top. To go top. Go and Colin Osborne does indeed Colin Osborne. return to the peak of the pile in Group A with three games for each of the players left to play, it is Osborne's to lose. A very, very good display. Actually, from both players there, that's about as good as we've seen from Gary Hayes all week. But in his other two matches, he managed to beat Colin Osborne in their meetings. However, Osborne's victory here proving a significant one, perhaps. 96.57, four out of six on the doubles. Delightful in all departments. And it all amounts to a league lead for Colin Osborne. We'll get some analysis from Scott Mitchell after the break, and then we will return with Larry Butler against Conan Whitehead. Hello and welcome back to the Modus Super Series where Scott Mitchell is with me up here on the balcony to reflect on our first six matches. Two games played for each of our players so far. So let's have a look at the table now because, well, first of all, before we do that, let's go into, i tell you what, let's just do the table. Let's just do the table. Let's simplify it because Colin Osborne has won every game so far. He's top of the table and he's looking quite a good bet now. 
Absolutely, he's taken his opportunity. We said he was going to have to clamp himself on it early doors. He's used his experience. He's got himself a lead now. He's going to have to cling on to it because the others are coming. And out of these players, Colin's the one with the most experience in this format. Could this now begin to come to the fore for him? I think it already has. It started to. He's, he's doing those 90 averages again. This is exactly what he did yesterday. As long as he doesn't tail off at the end of the day like he did yesterday, I believe he's going to hold on to that lead. However, for Leonard Gates, the legs difference could provide a pivotal avenue for him. He's going to be wanting to get on level terms. You know, he really needs to be flawless from here in. So it's going to be tough for him, and he's still going to have to put his fingers out and hope that Colin loses one. Thoughts now on Owen Bates. Impressive performance against Conan Whitehead, but he's the one out of that pack that's going to have to do something late on in the day. It probably unraveled for him in that very first game of the day, didn't it? That he really needed to win that game and he would still be in touch a little bit now because his leg difference is going to be the problem for him. Most certainly. Well, next up for us, it is the battle, as you can see behind us, of Conan Whitehead and Larry Butler, two players who probably aren't in that conversation for winning the group, but they'll want to finish the day strongly because, as we know, here at the Super Series, it is all about making sure Thursday and Friday you give yourself the best possible position going into Saturday. Look, these two players have a big chance to prove to be the spoilers for the top three. Uh, and they will be looking to try and find a little bit of form going into whichever group they go mm -hmm. into. So they will want to finish strongly. They most certainly will do. So next up for us is the battle between Whitehead and Butler. Scott Mitchell's going to race his way down to the coach box to join Chris Murphy. Chris. Thank you very much, Henry. Yeah. John and Whitehead and Larry Butler. Last chance, really, for the pair of them to stay in the race for Group B. The winner of this match will be two points behind Gates and Bates. With that pair playing in the next couple of matches. And obviously with Owen Bates taking on the quality-looking Colin Osborne, then an opportunity might open up. Now, this could be a significant okay, match in its own right. Of course, first. our focus game is on, on the top three, the race to finals night. But this game does have something on it potentially. 100. Fifty six. Larry Butler trying to hunt down the treble twenty. Sixty. Failed to do so. Conan, though, right on the money. Pulled that one. Easy one. Oh, dear. That, well, that dart was like Henry Deacon's voice, wasn't it? Pitched too high. 45. Do have some whole suvers in the commentary box, Henry. Bless him. One hundred. Now just uh, a quick recap of that table. Colin Osborne on sixteen, and then Gates and Bates on fourteen. Whitehead and Butler on ten. Gary Hayes 40. on eight points at the bottom after that defeat at the hands of Colin Osborne. Whitehead first to finish against the throw. Sixty. Turning you record hundred and twenty four. We won't be taking it out, and Larry's been making a, a habit of taking opportunities. Thirty eight particularly Larry in his first match against Owen Bates. To be this time, but a tidy Remember little setup. No better setup than that. Goes to the left. Seventy. He's been so cl close with that double 40. sixteen on a couple of occasions today, Conan, and and that dart right on the wire causes a slight problem. Larry thought that was in. He's he's touched his toes and he's had a little dip in the water. 
20. Yeah, steady on, Larry. Conan, you're required. Absolutely. 16. Right. Game show that is in. Leg. Conan, Conan right rightly head. goes forward to retrieve his dart, and he's just broken Butler's throw. Second leg, it's Conan to throw first. And double eight being profitable again for Conan. I wonder if that's his favourite double. I know his favourite treble is. It's treble 20. 80. Well, he did hit five perfect darts earlier today, Conan Whitehead. Can he better that here? 85. Uh, emphatic no is the answer. 85. I want to know who put the fives and the ones next to the 20. I'd like to have a word with them. I think most dart players would like to have a word with them. It'd be fairly pointless having the 18, the 19, and the 20 together, wouldn't it? It'd be quite a boring game. 100. Nine five. Going in your record, 136. Well, it's largely believed, of course, Scott, that it was a, a man called Brian Gamlin who put the dart boards where they are. 60. A British carpenter. I suppose he might have been the one that made the boards. Who knows? It was. 78. Going in your Intentional, 76. wasn't it, to, to sort of punish inaccuracy to put the smaller numbers next to the bigger ones. Game show no inaccuracy the there leg. from Conan, Conan Whitehead, who doubles his lead in this match, and it looks like he's going to be the one that's making the march, keeping his hopes alive with that Group B Game finish. On. I suppose when back when he invented the dartboard or whatever he did, he didn't realise that Bullseye was going to come along and the non-dart player was going to go for the 9s, the 14s and the 11s because they were all in the same region. When you only needed 101 or more with six darts for the car, the speedboat. Uh -huh. There have been there have been a few systems later on, haven't there? These much cleverer than me stats and mathematicians who have invented what would be a, a fairer dartboard system, shall we say? Maybe something to dig into. At another time, but fascinated 100. by how they could change the numbers. I wonder if it would ever happen. Well, it got changed when they put the quadruple part into the dartboard. I would imagine that was a referee's no, nightmare. Uh, up in Yorkshire, from where I'm from, we still don't even have the treble, Scott. Yeah, I, I, I'm not going to comment on that or why. 180. Um, yeah, obviously, that was a thing that came down south. To do with intelligence, probably. 60. No, no response to that. 100. Good performance, though, from Conan Whitehead. 77. Anyone who does uh, want to tweet Can in today? 78. And, uh, Stick up for Yorkshire at MSS Darts. Forty-six. Went down that corridor of opportunity there. Conan Whitehead with Butler not on a finish. Conan required thirty-two. Trying to leave his favourite double. He's not had much fun on this Game double today, but he finds it. Conan Whitehead. Quickly racing to a 3 0 lead, and we could be heading for a Whitehead whitewash in no time at all. You have to say that well, Larry's been Conan's right under the cosh in this Eight. one. With Whitehead giving him no let up whatsoever. 100. Been a, a decent display. Larry hasn't been at the races at all. He has had three darts at double, of course, but ninety-seven on course to post his worst stats of the week, and that would probably spell the end of any chance of Larry Butler 
making it through Sixth. to Group B. We'd see him in Group C, along with Gary Hayes and whoever else finishes fourth in this group. They only have two games left to play. They he'd already be four points off the pace. They would need a mathematical miracle. But he'll be just asking the question, won't he? That's the point. He'll be no, just answering the five. question and saying, I'm sat here. If anybody's ready to mess up, I'll be ready to pounce. Couple sessions, of course, from tomorrow. Do join us 9.30 a.m. and 10 p.m. for the beginnings of Group C and B. Live on Sporty Stuff TV for your Nine, viewers in the UK and around the world on the Motor Super Series YouTube channel. Don't forget to subscribe and like the videos. Click the notification button as well so you know when we're going to go live. 89, coming in with 154. To win it in style. Ah, yes, the lesser seen double 17. Go what a way to win match. it that is. Colin a wonderful Whitehead, white wash win. 4-0 over Larry Butler and finished in style with a whopper. 154, 60, 60, double 17. That is the way to stay in that race to finish in the top three. Take a bow, code and Whitehead. Four out of seven on the doubles. An average north of 90 as well. And that stylish finish to close out the win. Now we go back to that number one spot race. Owen Bates taking on Colin Osborne in a couple of games' time. But before that, it's Leonard Gates' turn. He takes on Gary Hayes. Welcome back to the Modus Super Series where Conan Whitehead has sealed a 4-0 success against Larry Butler. Doing so with a 91 average and finishing off with a 1-5-4 checkout. Let's see what that does to the league standings because we can have a look now. And Conan Osborne is the man at the top of the table on 16 points. Gates, 
and Bates are just behind on 14. And Whitehead's just trying to keep himself in the picture in terms of that qualification for Group B as he it finds himself on to 12 points. Well, next up for us, it's the battle between America and England. It is Gates versus Hayes. And whilst they are in action, I'm off to get a cough sweet. Chris, Scott, all yours. Thank you very much, Henry. Looking forward to this battle because not only is it significant for Leonard Gates in terms of keeping the pressure on Colin Osborne at the top, I think despite defeat to Colin Osborne about, what, 10, 15 minutes ago, we saw the best of Gary Hayes in that match and he'll be hoping to, to carry on riding that wave here. Yeah, absolutely. But it, it seems to be a trend that he has against Colin Osborne. <laughs> I mean, he'd beat him twice before. Um, whether it's the old, you know, both northeast representative type people who are um, okay, playing one another, and obviously Oz has been around a while. Maybe somebody that's Gary's looked up to and, and getting a chance to have a go at him was uh, what brings the best out in Gary. One hundred. Well, let's see if he can carry it on into his next match. Leonard Gates, if he wins again, will return to the top of the table on leg 60. difference, but will have to wait and hope that Colin Osborne is beaten by Owen Bates. If that happens, then it's going to be as you were with hey, three players Zeno. tied and with just a couple of games left to play, and that would be a really interesting climax to the action here. And like I say, all he can do is concentrate on himself and try and win his games. 60. and um, of all the guys that probably need a couple of days off, it's probably Leonard. He's he's had the four days and things at one hundred uh, at the World Seniors at the weekend, and then obviously the flight over and and he could do without having to go five days to get to the final. So here at the Moda Super Series, fifty-five. Yeah, and he's got a little spell now as well, a little half an hour. 45 minute spell that could be really important. He's playing in two of the next three matches, including this one. Takes on Conan Whitehead in game 10. We know he's on form with that massive 1 5 4 shot out to finish his game. 100. And a Jibber Corner previous match. Six. So, I said earlier that Conan would have the chance to. Be the spoiler. One hundred. He has a big chance to be the spoiler in that one. Yeah, he's certainly in form. Five of his six last, one five of his last six rather. Forty. Energy requires sixty. Double top for leg one. Open bed. Double ten. 50. But he's left it a little bit dodgy, so maybe a little bit of optimism for Gary Hayes here. 50. That's a good start. Stay there, Gary. Stay there. 140. Pressure. Then you apply 10. Looking at a split here, Leonard Gates. Double two. Game gets there in the, the end. Yeah, he does tend to split Leonard those finishes. Gets. And maybe for him, it just takes that, that jeopardy away, that pressure. Comes to the ball with a plan. And he executed Second it well there. To throw first. It's something you see Steve, like Sir Stephen Bunting and that do that an awful lot, don't they? But back the self on a double that they would rather prefer to go for. Yeah, 100. basically took himself to that lakeside title by splitting, didn't he? He was doing it all throughout that tournament. Maybe less so in the modern day, but yeah. We do get players who tend to do that more often than not. 59. Particularly if you can split on, say, six or ten, where you've got a massive target to aim at. Thirty. Leonard now applying the pressure to that poor Whoa. visit. And Gary Hayes in the most maximum way he could. Might be on for a spell of dominance here after the 4-0 win 
the white head over Butler, then a gate. He's looking to break in leg two one of this one. Good response, though, from Hayes. And this is where Gates needs to sharpen up because 2 6 2 has to go 18s. Oh, hang on a minute. 94. And then he's gone back to the 20s. <laughs> oh, dear, Leonard. <laughs> oh, I love it. 100. He's cl clearly trying to develop that part of his game. So he's picked up some of the thinking there, but then. Not thought it out totally. Indeed. 55. Gary, have I got 100? And we really are not having fun at Leonard's expense. He really is battling his way to work out those shots. Yeah, it's it's just, just, you know, he doesn't play lots and lots of 5 no, one steel tip nine. games. And, and we forget that. 13. We do forget that. Yeah, it's just the, the sort of joy of the enigmatic approach that he's got because it looked like he'd worked it out and then still managed to get it wrong. What he tends to get right is actually finishing off the legs and tops would make it 2-0. Game shot From the, the ridiculous leg. to Leonard the sublime. Gates. So it gets Leonard to throw first. Game on. Like we said to yesterday, he's such an infectious character. But I came back through the uh, players' room this morning on my way hey, in, and, and, and Gary Hayes pulled me over for for our comment about him looking like Sean Dyche, the uh, new Everton manager. And if any of his mates are watching, he actually did a really good hey, impression of Sean one. Dyche's voice as well. Did the old gruff. So when he gets home, make sure you ask him to do that Sean Dyche impression, because he is quite good at it. 134. Yeah, any comments like that are made in jest, and we do have a good camaraderie here down at the Super Series where players tend to take it that way as well. 140. Not always the case of late. One hundred. We were talking about Bobby George and the counting recently, weren't we? Maybe we could set up a a meeting between him and Leonard Gates. That would be 100. highly amusing. Yeah, we'd need to take our cameras. Just solely for the fact 140. that I would want it would be a, it would be funny to to try and work out what shots that he would remember and which ones he'd be going for. Gary Hayes might want to forget this match One because it's another match in which he's played 46. pretty well. He isn't getting many chances. In fact, he hasn't had any chances at doubles in the game. That one, he was going for 14. They're hitting 11. 35 remaining. Three for double 16. Four Hayes get, does get his chance. Should get a dart at double. At least one. Gary require 80. Only be at the bullseye now. Fifty-five. Oh, almost. Leonard, you're a a champagne 32. finish. For Gary Hayes, but game on the third leg. Will not be looking Leonard for any Gates. champagne. He wants the mundane, and that's a one dart thirty-two, which he takes. So it's a three-nil lead to Leonard Gates. Paul Flick, it's Gary to throw first. Game on. One hundred and eighty. Well, Hayes hits a one eighty to kick 140. off this leg. Now, surely he doesn't deserve to be beaten four nil here. 59. No, I hope he's not very superstitious. He's actually averaging more than Leonard Gates. He's 60. only had one dart at double in the entire match. That was at the bullseye. Let's see what he does on 262. We saw Gates get this wrong earlier on. We won't know now.
But again, it's been the problem, hasn't it, for Gary Hayes? For me, that's hey, been the, the big weakness in his game. Whenever he gets near a finish or sometimes on a finish, it's a one or a five that's making him have to bail himself out of trouble. Those short irons, isn't it? It's the, the short irons and the setups to leave a shot that, that he struggled with. But 45. Again, he's he's here doing another 90 average. He's not had all the luck in the first three days. He really hasn't. He, you know, he's getting a dart at a 116 shot and then not getting back. And um, he, he has, of all, been more unfortunate than others so far this week. But Well, look, he's going to be in Group C. What What kind of confidence can he take into that? How should he feel about his first three days here at the Super Series? Well, I think, the, I think he's got to look at the players in this group and look Gary at what he's been playing. 81. Everybody here has been really, really consistent, including himself. Well, 44, so we're looking at 12 to leave 49. double 16, and this time he has got time on his side because Leonard Gates has had a, a bit of a, an off leg. He has. Now we're looking at a 180. It 79. had 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 a bit of an off yeah. leg. 133. Gary requires 32. Yeah, not totally sure about that leave from Leonard. Game shot. Doesn't matter four, now as Hayes does Gary get a well deserved Hayes. leg on the board. Fifth leg is Leonard to throw first. Game on. One hundred and twenty one. Forty one. One hundred and eighty. Leonard Gates really has found his scoring boots. Thirty-five in this one. It's a fabulous leg of darts. One hundred and forty. One two one. One eighty. One forty. Ninety-seven. Averaging ninety-three. Sixty. Forty. There's a time to miss a, a double. It's when your opponent's not on a finish. Yeah, two of the miss for the match from Leonard Gates. All Hayes can do from here is hit and hope. And again, fifty-five goes wide and Leonard means he doesn't leave a 20. finish. So he's still not on a finish. But Leonard Gates does finish the match. match. A 4 1 Leonard win Gates. for the American who soldiers on up the table right to the top of it. 16 points apiece now between Gates and Colin Osborne. But Colin does have a game in hand. A 91 average for Leonard Gates. 2 140. 40% checkout success. Really good stuff from Gates. But the big match is coming next. If Osborne wins, he leapfrogs Leonard back to the top of the table. But if Owen Bates can beat him, three players will be tied on 16 points.
Welcome back to the Modus Super Series, where we have just seen another emphatic victory for Leonard Gates. He is racing his way through Wednesday here in the field at the Live Lounge in Portsmouth. And this is another big battle in the race for top place in Group A, which would also secure the first spot at finals night on Saturday evening. We can actually have a look now at the table in its entirety. And as you can see now, Gates and Osborne level on 16 points apiece. But crucially for Gates, it's that positive legs difference of 16, which could be so crucial for him. However, Owen Bates, with victory here against Osborne, can re-establish that three-way tie for the lead at the top of the standing. So, potentially a pivotal few minutes ahead of us here at the live lounge in Porto as we intensify the race for that first space at finals night on Saturday. And a reminder, you can join us for that and every single Saturday night here at the Super Series by visiting dartshop.tv to claim your free tickets. Don't forget, we have a brand new start time of 7.30 p.m. Well, into our next one we go. It is Bates against Osborne. It's Mitchell and Murphy who are describing the action for you in the commentary box. Thanks for the hand over there, Squeaky Deeks. Very good of you to muster on through. Lenny Lemsip, we'll call you, I think. So, big game, this one. Big game. Can Owen Bates put himself back on 16? Points in the table. And bent the run of Colin Osborne to the top of the table. Yeah, massive match. If Osborne wins, as Scott Mitchell just described, he will go back to the top outright on 18 points, and it'll mean that Owen Bates is as good as out of that race. If Bates wins, however, they're all on 16, this pair and Leonard Gates, and it would be advantage Gates for the reasons that Henry just described, that he's got that massive advantage in the leg difference. That only matters, though, okay, if first, you finish on the same point. So Osborne looking Going for a on. win to render that irrelevant. But a Bates victory would leave us with the ultimate grandstand finish to this group. 57. Sixty. So a steady start for the boys up there. One hundred and forty. Right on cue. Owen um, Bates. Max a couple of treble twenties. Twenty-eight. A slack visit there from Osborne. 96. Allowing Bates to stretch the lead. He's going to need one of his trademark 180s here to catch up, but it's not going to happen. It's early doors. 47. There's a bit of panic starting to set in with Osborne here, knowing the pressure of the situation. Well, we did see him lose his last match yesterday, and it is. Level dropped before that, didn't it? They played at a very good standard today. 46. He did. Only requires 68. Beat Owen Bates 4-2 yesterday. That was in the early part of the day, but he lost by the same scoreline on Monday. But nothing 52. between them there. Plenty between them in this opening leg here. Yes, indeed. One hundred. I mean, you require so, sixteen. Bates coming back in for double eight. It's a one nil lead. Game shot in the first. I leg. couldn't believe the second dart wasn't in. Then how was that not in? He needs to get some fatter points so that they were at the other side of the wire. But unfortunately, second we're not allowed fatter points. Birds. That's another one of the uh, rule. You've got to measure your points if they're too fat. Yeah, also, yeah, new rules coming in about the points. Interesting. 
little adjustments. And the, the main one is about the, the perforation on the points. You can't have sort of grip towards the point end of the dart to try and keep it in the board, basically. Yeah, Ooh, see, it's not allowed. I didn't realise there was abrasive measurements. I didn't realise there was even such a thing until I saw, uh, I think it was one of our our uh, colleagues uh, on Edgar TV put, put out about how this, this grading works. So um, if you're unsure about any of that, jump on the Edgar TV and they will explain, he will, Matt will explain everything to you. 135. Yeah, it might not be right, but they'll explain it. I, I believed it. Yeah, no, no. To be fair, he does do his homework and his research, 60. Matthew Edgar. Now part of the furniture here at the Moda Super Series as is the man that you are now referring to as Squeaky Deeks. I like that. But if Owen Bates wins this, I don't know about Squeaky Deeks. It'll be Squeaky something time, won't it? Yeah, well, indeed, Osborne not needing to... 97. Try and take the 167. Tried to stay up the top and lay up and set something up. Bates will stay there. 180. Much success. 70. Pressure piler. Capital P pressure. Thirty. Only require 83. So it's 16 for the bullseye and a 2 0 lead, Going and he's nailed the it. Second leg. Owen Bates. So look, it's Owen to throw first. Game on. Annoyance on Owen Bates' face there at missing the big Thirteen. 20. And, of course, with that annoyance, he's already played his cards to his face and his head and his mind, and he went and missed again with the next two. Yeah, and he put himself in such a good position. I think that was part Whoa, of the annoyance, and that's going to compound it, isn't it? Brilliant maximum from Osborne. It happens. It just happens. And here we go. 140. Bit quicker with that last dart, wasn't he? It was just a little, just a split second quicker, and and maybe affected its flight path. Ninety-three. Well, it looked like Bates was going to race away with this, but now Colin Osborne, encouraged by that poor 92. start to this leg, is on course to break back and get the game back on throat. Would of course need to break twice to win the match. Bates as a player, he's not frightened to move there. He had, he had the trouble 20 blocked and he across to the 18s. He had no problem with doing that. Good to see from a young player. 45. Pulling your record 134. Lovely dart. Lovely start. And he's going to leave it handy. 94. Osborne favours tops. 133. Calling you a 40. Thirty-five. Bit scruffy there was chasing after that first dart, wasn't he? Seventy-eight for Bates. Twenty. We see the flat dart that he throws on purpose, by the way, on purpose, so that he can see the double top. Thirty-eight. Yeah, really impressive stuff. Five. The the flatty, but he couldn't find the double top bed that he'd left. Plenty of room in. Double two. Big moment in this match, you would feel. Game and Colin Osborne, Colin Osborne lands the double, breaks the throw, and it's very much game on in this game. Fourth leg, it's Colin to throw first. Game on. 
Yeah, very much is now with Colin back with the throw. And you have to look at the averages. 100. And say that Colin's averages have dropped off a little and he really is battling his way back into this match. Scrapping his way back in, but here comes One Bates. He's having none of it as he jumps into the 90s. One hundred. Oh, One hundred and forty. Four perfect ones there. Just underneath. That's one, but Ryan Bates is applying the pressure back onto Colin Osborne. Thirty six. A match that he's not looked totally comfortable in. Yeah, it's been that that lunchtime drop off that we saw from Osborne yesterday, averaging in the nineties, and then suddenly finds himself in the seventies, like Sam Tyler. For niche reference, anyone who's watched Life on Mars 95. will get it. Five. I mean, you require forty-one. Only Mars I know is the bar. <laughs> So 41 after nine, not too shabby here for an 11 data, 12 data then. 25. So, Colin, you require 107 for Osborne. Double eight for Bates when he comes back to break back and put himself in total control of this clash. And then he requires and 16. remember the ramifications. If he hits this 16 and then wins one more leg, he'll be on 16 points, along with Osborne and Leonard Gates. Double two, it was a big dart for Game Osborne in the previous leg. Play. It's an even bigger Bowen dart Bates. for Bates in this one. And the flisk, fist can, the, the, that's easy for you to say, the fist clench from Owen Bates if I so into shows how important a leg that Game. was in this match. I nearly squeaked that out there. Five hundred left. Four nine five left. Twenty. We saw this, didn't we, from Bates? A couple of legs ago, he just got such a big leg in the ledger, and then started the next one with thirteen. Now I'm going to have an explanation here. I I had an old fella he used to tell me. He said he used to watch me on the telly, and when I gave it the big in. When I'd won a leg, he said, every time you come back, you would mess up. Every first throw, you'd break the throw, you'd give it the big punch, you'd come back, you'd calm Ooh, yourself down, this, that, and the other, and then go up and go 45. He said, I wish you'd stop doing it, and I, I pretty much did. And I started doing it again at the uh, seniors at the weekend, and he gave me a call again and Ooh, said, you started it again, stop it. And it, you can't give it the big end, and you lose all your energy and your, your, your focus. And then your first three darts after that can can totally go wrong. I can't remember you breaking the throw at the seniors. 60. I broke sweat. I didn't say I broke throw. I broke sweat and, and relieved myself on holding a couple of throws and, and give it a little bit of a fish clench. And then, yeah, went up and hit 45 or 26. 60. You do see it, you know, from the very best. I, I, I agree. I've seen it many a times. Michael Van Gerwen, I've seen go crazy after a big finish and then seem to almost physically cause him to drag the next few darts wide. It's like you relinquish all your energy or you, you, you relinquish all your focus or something because you're focusing on how how big that moment Whoa, was and you're forgetting there's still the rest of the game to go. Yeah, still stuck in the past a little bit mentally, perhaps. And Osborne is trying to make the most of it with his second maximum of this match. Four in total 64 in the game. 124. Funny enough, you mentioned Michael Van Gogh, and I did it against Michael Van Gogh about 18 months ago in the UK Open. The bullseye. Oh, Game dead centre. Look at that. Perfectly Colin pitched Osborne. by Colin Osborne. Respected by Owen Bates. And he's still in this match. And there's the so other thing with the old big fist first. pump. Game it does give your opponent a little bit of mojo, doesn't it? To, it wakes him up. Although it, although it, it G's you on, it wakes him up. 96. 
So yeah, going back to I, I did it. I did it. I went eight seven on Michael Van Gerwen in in a race to ten, um, to save my own throw and thought that's One, it. That's brilliant. And then he absolutely smashed me for the next three. And I I I know I shouldn't have done it. And I lost ten eight. And I it was a good performance. But I just I I I still to this day think had I not given it the big large one, I think Michael was quite happy to have wandered away because I was playing that well, you know. It, it's just one of those. I think you always wonder. Although in Bates might have been wondering if he was going to give it the big large one at the end of a nine dart finish there, kicking off with the game's fifth 180. But Osborne is going to try and force a decider. One hundred eighty. Six maximums in this match, which really has improved as it's gone on. Eighty-five. Colin, you require eighty-five. Osborne's average is definitely improved. So this to make it level scores. Here we go. I missed the big sixteen. Thinking of the bullseye, wasn't he? Thinking of the bullseye before he'd actually pegged the 16. Single 19 will leave him on tops. 45. Owen Bates. I mean, he was 154. Wanting to do what we saw Conan White do earlier on. 154. He's going a different way about it. Not going to take it. 78 on the draw. 94. Colin, you require 40. So tops in coming for Osborne and a 13 dart leg. Game shot in the sixth. Some hold a throw that Colin is. Colin Osborne. Three three. Seven from final leg. It's Owen's a throw. Game today, on. isn't it? Sure is. And in the most important match of the day, bar none. Let's just put you back in the picture. If Colin Osborne wins this leg, he goes on to 18 points. Two clear of Leonard Gates when all the players have played 13 matches. So two games left to play. Great position. Crucially for Owen Bates, that would need him four points off the pace and all but out of the race for top spot. If Bates wins it, however, then he joins Gates and Osborne on 16 points. And with two games left to play, we would have three players fighting out for top spot all on the same amount of points. Few. I'm pleased you did that bit. Well, it couldn't be bigger, and that could not be a bigger visit for Colin Osborne, who looked out of the leg already and then fired in his fourth 180 in this brilliant game of darts. 60. It really has been nip and tuck all the way. But it's Osborne that has lifted his average up into the 90s from. Those low 70s he started the match with, and that's why he's got back to 3-3. Three, three. Yeah, but look at this. Only eight points. Eleven. What a time. What a time. After a 180 to have his worst visit of the match. Now, I know him Bates had a bad score earlier. Osborne absolutely punished it. 84. I'd say that's part punished. Yeah, it's perfectly poised, this. With everything on this match to be in this position. But what has happened to Colin Osborne here? He cannot believe it. He cannot believe it. There's nothing he can do. Sixty-eight. I mean, it required ninety-six. Well, fair play to him finding a treble with his last dart when he had to, but his luck might have run out, and he could be in trouble here. Yeah, forty-four. Then. Fifty-six. Colin, you're one hundred and forty-two. Surely, if he hits the first treble twenty, he will stay there. He will have to stay there. Correct. It's real. So, downstairs now. 84. Tension here, isn't it? Real tension. This I match matters 40. more than most. 
Seems like there's a character building for this young man. Twenty. Three darts missed, and we're sat here in the practice room. You could hear a few oohs and ahs coming from through the wall because they know that that now means Colin Osborne has a chance to as good as wrap this up. But again, he's only going to get one dart. He's not even going to get that. Wow. 18. Oh, in your record, well, uh, 20. This has got pretty tense pretty quickly. Tense. Can't get tens. Double five. Go and Owen Bates somehow crosses the line in a dramatic darting duel that leaves Group A in the most incredible predicament towards the end of the day. The stats pretty good in that match. You wouldn't know it from the last few visits in that final leg. Seven one eighties between them. Four for Osborne. Who also took out a 1 2 4 checkout, but a mess towards the back end of that match, denying himself a dart at double to win it. Opened the door for Owen Bates and going in to the final six matches in this group, two apiece, three players are all tied on 16 points at the top. Do not go anywhere. This is the Lotus Super Series. One hundred and eighty.
Moda Super Series, the international event that everybody's talking about. And you could be a part of it as well because you could be here every single Saturday night. We are based here in Portsmouth, which is in the sunny south coast here in Hampshire, England. And you can join us every Saturday night. Remember, start time is now 7.30 p.m. And you can get your tickets on dartshop.tv as well as tuning in to us on Sporty Stuff TV and the Modus Super Series YouTube channel. Well, before the break, we saw a dramatic twist in the race for first place and the first spot at Saturday's finals as Owen Bates got the better of Colin Osborne by four legs to three, a game which saw seven maximums, but it was Bates who got over the line in that one. It means a three-way tie at the top. Next up for us is kind of Whitehead against Leonard Gates, and it really is, in this group, squeaky bum time. <laughs> no truer word spoken, squeaky deeks. Um, yes, this has gone from one extreme to the other here. Now, Leonard Gates has a chance to use that leg advantage, win this game, and go back to the top of the group. The thing for Colin Osborne is he's next game on after this. He's got no time to dwell on that loss. He's going to be straight okay, back on, to and first. he'll be taking on, game on. Larry Butler. The American that may be looking to do his fellow compadre a favour in that game. But first things first, Leonard Gates has got to concentrate on no winning I this game for himself. Yeah, now starting to look towards that penultimate match of the day between Owen Bates and Leonard Gates. It could even be a straight shootout because 60. Colin Osborne has just made it difficult for himself with defeat to Bates. Gates probably didn't expect to be still top of the table after that, but that's where he is. Nine, T2. And he is now favourite, really, to progress because of that really healthy leg difference. He's eight points, eight legs, sorry, better off than Colin Osborne. 16 legs better off than Owen Bates. And the reality is, whichever one of these guys drops down into that Group B... There's a very good possibility, although they've had a group game. It's a sticky old group, that one. Yeah, it really is uh, a tough group. Second and third place in this group will be in it. 90. And they will be joining uh, a tough field of Adam Hunt, Prakash Jiwa and Rob Collins. One hundred and forty. Although the hope for Osborne and Bates, I suppose, is that probably the worst player to play at the moment is Conan Whitehead, who has produced some very decent stuff, including that 4-0 whitewash win over Larry Butler in his last match, which he sealed with a sensational 1-5-4 checkout. And these are the kind of games he loves, to be fair. When everybody's talking about 50. everybody else, these are the games he loves. Then and they're the easier games to play as a player. Well, they decided there against the ball route. 129. Almost backfired. Running you require 32. Game shot on the first leg. Conan Whitehead. Tidy finish there from Conan. 16 dart leg. Second leg to Leonard to throw first. Game on. Yeah, how many times do we watch the Grand Slam and, and watch somebody struggle in their first two games and and they haven't they haven't done anything and, and then they go and win that Fair last game pretty on. comfortably because all the pressure's off and and they're very relaxed. Yeah, even more so with Conan Whitehead. I think he I get the impression that he revels in 100. kind of upsetting other people's day as well a little bit. Enjoys that role of spoiler. One hundred and eighty. We're going to go back to the Leonard Gates mathematical spectrum now. 262 earlier on. Right, 18's Lenny. 
Now, now you can go back to the 20s. 58. I think that sums it up, doesn't it, from earlier. So when he went and hit the treble, that's when he didn't know what to do. He's worked out that pattern. Shows, you know, soft tip player all his starting career, thriving in steel tip now and still learning. But we are seeing signs that he is learning. Yeah, he's definitely going forward, isn't he, nice. on, on the counting front. Holding him a 121. Twenty seven. Couple of loose ones there from and Conan. Hundred and nine. Deciding which way to go here before he approaches the hockey. Don't really understand that. Scott Mitchell's alongside me. Scott, it's your job to explain. I thought he was going for a treble twenty. <laughs> Um, yeah, it, it, it's it's the strangest route I've four. seen for it, and he's still not ended up where he needed to be. So, just after I'd give him the praise that he's starting to learn as well, don't understand that one at all. Answers on a postcard, please. Fifty-four. But the fear, the fear 44. with the fear with Leonard is now he knows where he's going, he'll be fine now. Trying to open up the angle. 12. Conan, you require 40. Now his gate's feeling the pressure of being joint top of the tree. Game shot on the second leg. Conan Whitehead, Conan Whitehead does make him pay. He's playing with a spring in his step at the moment. Whitehead himself well, really struggling. He's stuff, won first. five of his last six matches. Game on. There's only two ways to play. You either play with a spring in your step or a stone in your shoe. It's one or the other in this crazy game of darts. 100. One hundred and forty. Love to see the uh, players in the practice room. I think there might not be many practice darts being thrown right now and a few eyes prized on the screen in there well you can usually hear a little bit of the thud 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 on the wall in here in the uh, commentary box but um we're hearing none of that everybody's glued to this one i should imagine in the practice room come on One good recovery from leonard gates and the first hint of a reaction he got the big come on there i think conan whitehead uh, definitely heard that one it was a wry smile on Conan's face, to be fair. He's one of those that does find things amusing. He's still finding a wry smile. Come on. 135. <laughs> well, he's giving it large, isn't he, at the moment, Lenny? He's on 46 after nine. Why wouldn't you? Well, Conan give it a bit after his leg win, so Conan I wonder... 46. Whether we're playing a bit of uh, dart psychology here. Game shot the Great leg of leg. darts from Leonard, Leonard Gates. Gates. The dozen darter. And Conan White was well, giving him a bit of a look as he walked first. back. A little Game raise off. of the brows as well. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. There's, it's not doing anything to put off your opponent. It's just to G yourself up. We, we've got one in Dorset, a young fella called Tommy Morris, who hopefully one day we'll see here. Um, and he does it. He's very... Uh, it's about himself. One it's about... 180! <laughs> it's about doing it for himself. And uh, a lot of people take that the wrong way on a county game. Yeah, we slightly cut away from Conan Whitehead there, 60. but he was just offering the start of a reaction. Worth keeping our eyes firmly on the players here. With every blow, they are giving it some. 60. But it can get to the stage where you're thinking about what you're going to do next to give it some before you actually hit the score. And it can put yourself Easy off. Easy one. 101. Just keeping calm suddenly. 
amongst all the adrenaline and testosterone. 60. Only you've got 160. Whitehead's still very much in command. It was a great leg by Leonard Gates. At this point of the last leg, he'd actually won the leg. This time, he's only halfway down it. 120. Well, I don't think he was going to go for a 180 there. Yeah, caught our very confident One team out there, didn't he? Oh, they were Cutting just a, a shot ahead. Double 16. Game show on the fourth leg. Conan Whitehead. Well, then again, it's now in a practice, you can see there, just from the overhead. Fifth leg, it's Conan to swing throw first. For the soldier. Game on. Feisty and tidy this game, isn't it? Yeah, it really is. Very watchable game of darts, but as we said, those players who are watching in the back room will be loving it even more than the two on the stage. Gates needs to try and bail himself out here. One hundred and eighty. Four one eighties now for Leonard Gates with average. He's touching a ton. One hundred and eighty. You've got to love this. This is an absolute slugfest. Yeah, brilliant, brilliant stuff. If you don't love this, you don't 100. love darts. Simple as that. We've got the skill, the scores, the finishers, and the characters. 98. Smart stuff from Whitehead there to ensure he's left to check out and also check out that he's already taken out this week. He could be forced 100. to have a good go at it. Can you have a Gates on one, two, one. Fifty-seven. Then a Jivakoma, 121. Rebel 17 leaves the ball. Not to be. Fifty-seven. So Conan Whitehead here with a match-winning opportunity that would offer lots of hope to Colin Osborne and Owen Bates. Forty. Then a Jivakoma, 64. Still hope for Leonard Gates. So, two darts then. At double eight to save himself. Stuttering a bit here, Gates. 56. Conan, you require 70. Big, big moment here. It's just the one dart. It's at double 16. 54. Pretty close, but not close enough. Leonard, you require eight. Maybe a few more dramatic twists and turns in this darting duel just yet. Indeed, there might be. Double one. Game ah. show. Oh, the took it all the way. Leonard Gates. I don't think it mattered which double it was. He had to have one there. The Whitehead missed a double that would have Sigling stopped is Gates first. in his tracks. Game on. With the game still to play. He would have been kind of at the mercy of what Osborne... And Bates doing the next couple of matches. Osborne taking on Larry Butler. Bates meeting Gary Hayes. But suddenly, suddenly Leonard Gates breaks and is back in this one. Sixty. Ninety-six. Two six five. That's a, a shot where starting down on the nineteens is the best play. So then it goes up. Now no, can't leave no. the finish. He's still working it out. I suppose in that scenario, the one thing you could say is that Conan White couldn't leave a finish even with the one eighty. But then why even bother going down? The second dart uh, might as well just try to score as many as possible in that scenario. 58. 
We've only had one match go 4-3 so far today. It was the last one between Bates and Osborne, which had equal importance on it. 58. Energy require 108. Double 16 now for Gates. 92. He will be back. Might head way back on 190. A couple of opportunities to bring it down lower than that. With Gates having four visits. 85. Leonard, you require 16. They'll get the sense that the Barbarian is enjoying being involved in this battle. And Gates the battle goes the to a last leg. Gates. Proper showing of respect. Both players have enjoyed this. We've enjoyed Seven it as well. Final against Conan to throw first. Game on. Conan's still enjoying it by the wry smile on his face. But for Leonard Gates, it's a win that would take him that step closer towards earning himself a couple of days Aye, rest and won. recuperation and the first place at finals night on Saturday. One hundred and eighty. I think that was something like woo. One hundred. Five maximums now from Gates. Oh, are we going to see two on the two hundred and twenty-three? Oh, no. But what a way to win it it would have been, but it might mean that Gates does indeed win it against the dart and a decider. 100. He's hit five treble 20s on the spin. And he's going to be first to a finish. Six out of seven. Seven out of eight. 120. Attempting treble 18 there. Sixty. Leonard requires seventy-five. What a leg of dart, Scott, to close this out. Absolutely. Seventy-five. Surely you go trouble seventeen. So twenty will leave top. Thirty-five. Can you recall one hundred and sixty? Surely not. And that is the case. Gates will return tops to stay on top. 42. Leonard require 40. For a 13 dart. Break of throw. Game shot out. And a match. match win. Leonard Gates. Leonard Gates 4 3. What an entertaining game that was. Two in front. The lads still having a good giggle about it after the game. That's what we want to see here at the Super Series. 95 average there for Leonard Gates. He worked hard. Four out of 13 on the doubles. But it's Leonard Gates now. Goes back to the top of the table on 18 points. Where this will go, who knows? You're going to have to join us after the break.
Welcome back to the Modus Super Series, where we have seen another pulsating match between Leonard Gates and Conan Whitehead, going all seven legs. Gates running out the victor by four legs of three with a 95 average, seven maximums in that one. We've actually seen 14 180s in our last two games. The standard is hotting up on Wednesday here at the live lounge in Portsmouth as the race hots up for that first place at finals. We now can confirm Group C for Thursday and Friday. Next up for us is the battle between Colin Osborne and Larry Butler. And joining us in the commentary box to describe all the toes and throws, here's Chris Murphy and Scott Mitchell. Thanks, Henry. Yes, and it is a massive match now, as every game is going to be between now and the end of the day. But for Colin Osborne, it's pretty simple now. Because of that Leonard Gates win, it is win or bust for Osborne in terms of qualifying as the winner of this group. That is because of that very, very strong leg difference that Leonard Gates has. So although he's only two points behind and still has two games to play, if he loses this one, okay, first leg, he Collins wouldn't be able to overturn that leg Game difference. On. The same would go for Owen Bates in his next match against Gary Hayes as well. So what has been looking like a, a finish, a grandstand finish that will reach its conclusion at the end of the day, well, it's still possible hey, that the group could be won with three games to spare. However, Osborne favourite to win the match and go level on points with Leonard. If Bates does that as well, we'd go into hey, the final G5. three with all three of those players on 18. So a very important spell in the next couple of games. Yes, a little bit. If he said, she said, she said, we could, he could. Um, what a position to be in after all the matches that we've had. Uh, what was it? 40 games. Yeah. But 40 games we've had to now, and it's still, we've got five to go, and we're still unsure 60. of where this is going to go. But for Osborne and, and Bates, they're now at the first point where if they lose, that's it. They're done. They can't catch Leonard Gates because of that healthy leg difference, which he did point out at the start of the day. Scott could be the difference. And how special that 13 dart last leg was from Gates in the last game. That that was, it could be massively crucial. Into him getting a couple of days off, maybe. Yeah, great game to watch for many, many reasons. Not just the darts, both players having a whale of a time. Whitehead and Gates there. And Osborne might be celebrating here. Double eights. 120. Sixty. Calling your requirements, 60. Game shot in the first leg. Colin Osborne. 13 dart opener there for Colin Osborne. Second leg is Larry to it's throw. It's a sign first. that he's not Game going on. anywhere. Yeah. Uh, obviously, as commentators, we sit firm on the fence, but a little bit of bias. We'd like this to go down to the wire, wouldn't 44. we? 44. I think we would, yeah. I, I, it, look, it's just exciting for, for, for people watching at home and around the world. By the way, Henry mentioned in his intro that Group C is confirmed for tomorrow. So just a reminder of the players who will be in action from 9.30 a.m. here at the Moda Super Series. It will be this man, Larry Butler. Still doing that kind of thing, I'm sure. He'll be joined by Gary Hayes and Conan Whitehead and the incoming trio of Luke Getty, Hampshire County player. John Brown, son of Steve, who has had a couple of years on the PDC Pro Tour himself. And Callum Francis 44. coming in to the field as well, a challenge to a player. Again, the Super Series bringing in some young heads, 45. teaching them the ways of the game. It's superb. Superb what the Moda Super Series does for players. And that's why everybody wants to be on it. No, Including so myself. I'll be on one day, I hope. Yeah, well, we'll look forward to that. But we've got a bit more work to do this week with the microphone. 140, Larry, 130. Well, I'll wait until after this leg, because I'm going to ask you a little question. 
based on your bid to be here. Another one in there would leave double 12 for Larry Butler. 88. Calling your requirement, 41. Range choice, that from Larry. Yeah, he must have slightly miscounted then. Game shot the second. Leagues in tops, and Colin Osborne Oswald. is in command, and the likelihood of being ruled out after this match is getting, well, less. Yeah, the question I was going to ask, you've been here before, obviously, and you may have Collins watched from home, but reversed. having been around the Game arena, uh, and you don't have to say what, because you don't have to give anything away to, to your potential rivals, but have you picked anything up that you think might help you when you do play for a full week? One hundred and thirty. Uh, no, not particularly. I, I, think, I think it's a very even thing for all six players. That's the one thing that I'm really impressed with, I think. It doesn't favour any player in, in particular. It's it's the same for all six players, which I think is really important. Um, you're all on the same practice throws. It's not like we've got one practice throw each or anything silly like that. You're all on sharing the practice throws. 60. And I think that's really important for, for, for the continuity of it and, and to make sure that you're all thrown on the same bit. Because if you put everybody on different practice throws, they might all be different. And then you go from one practice one throw up to the board and, and they feel different. So... I love the way that it's done. Um, the setup is pretty excellent. And of course, everybody likes to come and have a good game of darts against a few buddies. So, 64. no better place to do it, really. Well, we will certainly look forward to seeing. We've got Mitchell and another influx of debutants coming from the Pro One Tour to the Super Series in 2023. Harry Butler landing his second 180 of this match, which has started very well. I say started, we could be halfway through it, to be fair. 140, Larry, 121. 96. Calling you, 103. This is a 3 0. 83. Larry required 20. Well, this for a break, and it could really change the complexion of this clash. Game shot in the third leg. Larry Butler. The standard of this one. Larry to throw once first. again, right Game. up there. Five on the averages for Osborne and Harry Butler. Whoa, Squeak shy 95, and that will take him past the 95. There we go. Both running 100, three 180s for Butler. 100. What a tidy old game this is as we're coming to the last few games here at the Super Series. Of Group A, one hundred in week two. This group has not failed to impress. Yeah, and it's a, a really fun end with so much one hundred and four on the line for players at the top end of the table. I've loved every minute of the last half an hour or so. Real skill and spirit stuff particularly that previous match. And we're going to see Conan Whitehead again play his part in this race. We know he wants to act as that, that spoiler. He takes on Colin Osborne in Aussie's final match of the day. 100, Larry, record 138. So 138 coming in for Larry. 86, Colin, you have a 161. So, another one there. Probably the bullseye last start. 90. Yeah. Larry required 52. Gets himself onto a nicer finish where he doesn't have to hit a treble. But it's Larry now double 15. 22. So, he gives Colin, Colin an opportunity 71. here. Big moment for Colin Osborne, this. Well, is he rethinking the shot? 
I think he has. He was going to go for treble 13. No, he has gone for it. Tops. Massive, massive dart. Game and he finds it. Flag. Because not Osborne. only for Colin Osborne getting the points here, he's already got a leg difference of eight more than Owen Bates. So the if further he pulls away, the bigger margin he wins Game the match on. by, the more difficult it would be for Bates to catch him. And it's a result that he would be likely to need to happen in that 100. last match between Bates and Gates. However, if Osborne does win this game, he'd still be in touching distance 100. of Leonard Gates as well on the leg difference. He'd be the second man into double figures. So it's important not for him just to win this game, but to win it well. Absolutely. And do you think the guys in the who are in Group B, will be looking at this going, oh, we don't want any of those, two of those three have got to drop in with us. Do you think they'll be watching it today and thinking that? Well, yeah, it's going to be a really interesting group, but I think it, it might be the bit of a scenario that they're quite happy on just to play devil's advocate that it's gone so close because ultimately the two that don't top the group are going to be disappointed, aren't they? Because they're going to be, it's going to be decided on fine margins. That's why it would be disappointment. A one, two, four for the win. 57. Calling you back 124. Lucky for him that he's had such a good leg to this point that Larry Butler is languishing over 300 and a long way behind. Seventy-eight. Fifty-four. Colin, you require forty-six. Forty-six. To keep up the pressure at the top of the table. Too high. Twenty-six. Too Best thing for Colin, though, is that Butler's just not in this leg at all. Hey, 2 1. Colin, you require 20. Game shot and Colin out of the Osborne match. Colin gets Osborne. the convincing win that he needed. A 4 1 success against Larry Butler. It means that it will be at least two players tied on 18 points. And look at that average from Osborne. Well, he's certainly up for the task. 102. Point one two, the best we've seen from any player this week, and it's happened exactly when it mattered. Osborne goes level with Leonard Gates on 18 points at the top of the table. If Owen Bates beats Gary Hayes after the break, he will also join the party. Stay tuned.
Welcome back to the Modus Super Series. And what a performance from Colin Osborne there against Larry Butler. A 4-1 win and doing so with an average of 102.12. It's the best average we've seen all week here at the Live Lounge in Port. So let's have a quick check uh, of how that takes the table at this point in the campaign because as you can see Osborne and Gates level now on 18 points Owen Bates can join them there on that mark however the legs difference for Osborne and Gates is superior so it's gonna have to be a big win here uh, we now know the group C lineup as Chris Murphy rightly mentioned in commentary is going to be Conan Whitehead, Larry Butler and Gary Hayes so if Bates and Hayes who played our next match were to meet again it's going to have to be on Saturday night at the finals they will be treading different paths on Thursday and Friday Owen Bates may not even be here on Thursday and Friday if he can go on and win the group but it's going to be a tall ass from here but nothing is out of the reckoning when it comes to the Super Series we've seen it all done before and Chris Murphy has heard it all done before yeah absolutely Henry and he does have to win Owen Bates doesn't necessarily have to be a big win though in my opinion if he wins this match it takes him on to 18 points his last opponent is Leonard Gates. So if he can then beat him, he's ahead of Gates on points. And all that has to happen then is Colin Osborne lose to Conan Whitehead, which is very possible based on the run that Conan Whitehead's been on, although Osborne was electric in that last match. But the simple scenario in this game is the same one that Osborne faced. If Bates loses a match, he is out of the race. So jeopardy time for Owen Bates here. And let's see... What he's made okay, of. First leg, it's Gary to throw first. Game on. One hundred and forty. You've been talking all week, Scott, about the learning curve that Owen Bates is on. Well, he couldn't have had a better lesson, could he, the last three days? Look, to be honest, he he has been outstanding and and stood himself in good stead and all the all the people that have followed him and have helped him 60. and practiced with him and everything i'm sure they will be pretty pleased at home and and when he gets back they will talk about this week two in group a and and, and how well he done no matter where he goes from here um i think he's done pretty well this week and as for gary hayes adc qualifier we're going to see him again in group c and plenty for him to take into 70. that group Look, I've, I've I've already spoken to Gary. It, it's it is so new to him. When you're when you're an older person, without without being horrible to Gary, he's he's, he's, he's in his late thirties and he's it's coming to him later in life. And these opportunities mean a lot more to you than they do when you're twenty years old. When you're twenty, you feel like you're going to get loads more opportunities. Um, and and Gary's probably thinking, you know, this is an opportunity and dream of a lifetime. And he's and he's played that way a little bit. You know, sometimes he's Gary had to pinch Maguire himself to think he's in this room with these people, but he hasn't got to. He has all the ability. And I'm and I'm looking forward to seeing him in group C and Game Jordan doing things like there. that. Because I mean Gary you don't Hayes. do that if you can't play darts. Yeah, really convincing start and just piles that pressure on Bates. Remember he is tiptoeing across the first. Tungsten tightrope here. Without a safety net, Owen Bates, defeat, and that's Ooh, it, out of the race. It will be Group B for him. And over to Colin Osborne and Leonard Gates, although he'll still have a say in the matter because he is playing Gates in the penultimate match of the day. Following this Four, is want... the Osborne-Whitehead clash, which certainly has a ring to it based on what we've seen. Quick word on Colin Osborne's performance, though. At the time when he was in this exact position, needing to win to stay in the race... And he produces the best performance we've seen all week. Yeah, he absolutely blitzed it, didn't he? It was, uh, he didn't, you know, it didn't phase him at all. But then nice. he with that much more experience, having been in the Grand Slam situation we were speaking about earlier, it's a very similar situation in these group stages. One and uh, yeah, he, he came through that one with flying colours. He has one more that he has to get through and then hope. Other result goes 140. his way. 140. Bates looking to bite back here. Remember a win to stay in that race. And his last match is against 46. Leonard Gates. A 
be on the same points. Leonard's leg difference wouldn't matter then. What could matter is Colin Osborne's leg difference, believe it or not, even though he's got a Four inferior eight. leg difference to I mean, Gates. 170. If he wins, it could still be a bridge too big for Bates by the time they play. So the next couple of games are going to work a lot out. Can he work this out? I think he's going to go for 140. it. 140. You'd have to. You have to go for the shot that's on the board. Harry Hayes here was unfortunate with a with a bounce out or a drop out or whatever you want to call it. 95. Didn't stay in the board. 25. Double eight now coming in for Owen Bates to return to parity. 21. Gary require 104. So, 104 for Gary. can still be done indeed Four strange way to go about it i'm sure that wasn't the intention the but Four. i was looking for a back-to-back -to -back ton topping check out there the only way i can think is he wanted to leave double 16. i was going that route oh, oh, no i was score. about to say he's gonna have to go left but he Gary in thinking that like himself went too far left that's not the first time we've seen him do that this week Tops for Gary. 20. And a chance that he Only didn't think he was going to get. And also, we did see Owen Bates on five go three double one, so it suggests that he does have a bit of, a bit of an aversion to double two, doesn't it? He doesn't like that lie one little bit. He'd be relieved to see this go in the single two, and now he looks completely locked out. No score. Gary require 40. Again. Dart sticking up is what caused him the problem. Game shot on the second leg. And Gary, Gary Hayes, Hayes is not going to turn down that second chance. So Bates on the brink here. So missing those Gary opportunities on that game on. unfavoured double two. Means that Gary Hayes leads 2-0. And Owen Bates, if he loses two Don't more it. legs, will not be topping this group. It's as simple as that. Bates has done it, you know. The young man has showed character in all, all his other games. He's been behind and won. He's front run and, and won games. He, he seems to have everything in his repertoire. 60. We were in the pub there, you would shout good six because that is a great 60. What would right. you shout here? 180. Maybe what Owen Binks, our referee, has just shout. And 180. And the pressure is piled on Owen Bates. 100. I'm going to let you into some uh, Super Series secrets here. We have mentioned that our commentary booth is adjacent to the practice room. I just heard, and I can't tell you which player it was, but I did just hear a massive come on Gary from that practice room then. But it also shows Owen Bates is the least likely to qualify from this group out of those three players that are finding it out. It also shows they are concerned about Owen Bates. Yeah, very much so, and, and quite rightly so. Like no, I said, we've, we've, we've so bumped into him 157. now. I bumped into him in the last few weeks, and he has impressed at times. 61. For one so Gary young. requires 76. He's in. The third Mountain to Gary climb Hayes. now for Owen Bates. And those 76s, had Gary had a few more of those this week, well, like it's Owen to throw he would have been higher up the table than, than what he's been. Maybe this is a sign that he's starting to settle in. And that all goes well ball. for a very interesting Group C. Ninety-five. 
Hey, T5. Ninety five. Eighty six. Well, good little find there. For Gary Hayes and keeps him very level pegging with Owen Bates. Ninety three. Well, we've seen the opposite, haven't we, in the last two matches? Both players needing to to win to stay in the race for top spot. We've seen the best performance of the week by Colin Osborne, and Owen Bates is worse. Yeah, ironically, just at the wrong time. And maybe just experience. Experience will teach him to have that timing that maybe that Colin Osborne had in his last game. Never say die, though. 80. Never give up because when you require 50. it's first to four, not first to three. And there's still a chance for Bates to win this match. Well, that can't help his cause, but he's got choices here. 17 would leave double 16. To stay in the match and in the race for top. Game show on the four flag. Owen Bates. You never find out a lot about yourself when you're winning in this game. You find out a lot about yourself when it was going wrong. And 3-0 down there, missed first. the big 18. Game on. And you think, what's that all about? And, and that's easy to just then... Some players would throw the dart at the board side arm in frustration. Um, he composed himself there and put a leg on the board, which looked unlikely. One hundred. Just some cuts here. It's interesting as well to think what Colin Osborne's perspective would be on this match because, look, he's going to go and try and beat Conan Whitehead. But because Gates has got that better leg difference, he's probably still going to need Owen Bates to beat Leonard Gates. So he probably <laughs> wants Bates to, uh, to turn this one around so that he's... Feels like 60. he's at least got something to play for. I know if it was me, I'd have probably tried to detach myself from the game, to mm. be honest. I would have tried to have detached myself and, and concentrate on what I was going to be doing and, and what I needed to do. And as long as I did my bit, then then the rest is out of your hands, really. Yeah, even if Colin wins four nil, he's still going to have a, a worse leg difference than Leonard Gates, 60. which means that he's going to need Bates to... Do him a favour in that one. Bates himself. Fill him with a shout. If he can turn it around. Whoa, and that is a good way to go about it. Gary Rock 156. Well, this would hurt. It would be a cruel way to end his chances. 120. Uh, to be honest, I mean, you're quite 87. I didn't even realise he'd thrown that dart. It, it, that was probably pretty rushed. I say it went quicker than that. Wow, this is what you should have done. Bit of composure. 69. Gary requires frustration 36. spills over for Owen Bates. Is his race run? It will be. If Gary Hayes can pin double 18. Game Bates is beaten. The match. And that means that a three-horse race becomes a battle between the top two. Bates bows out of it. He will be in Group B.
getting underway tomorrow evening. But Gary Hayes gets a victory against the 20-year-old. The ADC qualifier winning 4-1 with a match left to play each. There are now only two players in the hunt for top spot. They are Leonard Gates. He'll take on Bates in match 14. But before that, Colin Osborne must win to ask the question of Gates when he faces Conan Whitehead next. Welcome back to the Modus Super Series where Owen Bates is out the race in terms of qualification. You think for the finals now because that defeat means that Leonard Gates, Colin Osborne both on 18 points. And of course, with the legs difference, it means it cannot be made up in one game. So next up for us, it's Colin Osborne against Conan Whitehead, who's been doing some of the scoring for Owen Binks with some of his practice darts back there. It's always in good nature, this tournament, but it's serious business because Conan Osborne needs to win this one against the Barbarian. So let's get into this one. It's the final round of Group A, and it's in the company of Chris Murphy and Scott Mitchell. Well, 42 matches down, three to go in week two, Group A. And we're still none the wiser of who's going to win it. There are still scenarios here to be had with three to go. But what I do know is that somebody has to win this group. So we will have a result and we will find out who in not too distant okay, first future. Lady, Colin to throw first. Well, three has just become two with the elimination of Owen Bates in that race. That beating 4-1 at the hands of Gary Hayes rules out the master for the top spot. Colin Osborne's 4-1 victory over Larry Butler very firmly keeps three him in that enough. race. And it was the performance of the week so far. An average higher than 102. But it's win and wait now for the wizard. If he 50. beats... Conan Whitehead here, he'll move on to 20 points, he will be top of the table, but if Leonard Gates then matches the result, then it will be the American 95. who advances, because he will have a superior leg difference 
whatever the score lines in those two games. No, I mean, Owen Banks has just lost out and, and maybe cost him self in the running. He still has a big say where it goes because he's Leonard Gates' opponent in the next game. So, one our last game of the day, we'll see you. Larry Butler take on Gary Hayes, and they will be battling for the honour of not being 100. bottom. Yeah, and really did enjoy Conan Whitehead's match with Leonard Gates. Look, Osborne's performance against Butler was the most polished we've seen of any player all week. But in terms of a watchable 48. game of darts, that Conan White at Leonard Gates match had everything. It had a bit of G in each other up. It had a bit of, well, it had some superb darts. It had everything we needed. 59. And that treble three in the previous visit left Colin Osborne not on a finish, but it doesn't matter because nor is his opponent. 119. Makes up for it there with a very tidy setup. 60. Colin, you require 40. His short irons were good. Let's see what his putting is like. Thirty. Colin, Not you the require best. 140. But now Colin Whitehead looking for what would be akin to a hole in one. Doesn't happen. 52. Colin, you require 10. Six. He hasn't looked Colin, you on double five when he's been there all day, has he? Yeah, but I did half expect the double two to go in. Double seven is the target for Conan Whitehead. Seven. And you can see he nudged the wire then. Colin, you require four. At least it's out of the way. Game shot on the first leg. And he makes Colin the necessary Osborne. adjustment and takes the first leg. That could well have been the idea. Could well have been the idea from Osborne there. Second against Conan to throw first. Just find his range a little bit and then go at it with the next two. 57. Whitehead employing that early switch to the 18s. We do see from him more than anybody else in this group that target utilised. 140. Colin Osborne seems like a bit of a runaway train at the moment. I know he squandered loads of opportunities and it took a, a good while to get over the line in the previous leg, 100. but it never looked like being a leg he was going to lose. No, damage is average a little, but this point, he will not be worried about any averages. He is a player who seems to always be knocking on the door of topping the group A, but very seldom seems to actually win it. So will be will today be the day that his luck turns in that department? Fifty-eight. And he's done everything he can, but he's still going to be relying on. Another result after this one. 100. We did say, didn't we, at the start of the day, it would take 20 points to win the group. 60. We might have two players that end up getting there. Osborne really has peppered that treble 20 today. And here comes Conan. I think he's going to pepper it as well. 180. Colin, you require 66. Well, he went for the ball for the 170 to leave 32, but missing it where he did has just made this finish a little bit more difficult. 26. Only one dart got a double. Colin, you require 46. Game shot on the second leg. Conan Whitehead. Hold a throw in 17 then. 
So look, it's Collins to throw first. Game on. For Whitehead. Keeping Osborne honest. One hundred and eighty. And you don't get more honest than that. It's another one eighty. Colin Osborne. Eighty one. Fifty five. A reminder, a couple of games to come after this one, whether they are significant or 100. not in terms of the table, depends on the outcome of this one. The last one won't be. It's two players playing in Group C, the two at the bottom of the table, but it will be for bragging rights, won't it? One of them will finish fifth, the other will finish sixth in Butler and Hayes. 135. Ninety two, Colin Yamaka, one hundred and thirty one. Ninety one. So we'll talk for a thirteen data when he comes back. One hundred. Colin, you require forty. He thought it was in when it left his arm. Twenty. Patted off the barrel, and now Whitehead has a chance to pick his pocket. A big chance to pick his pocket, but not now. So sixty-four. He'll be down. Oh, lovely, well, lovely pickup after the Probably first start. Twenty. So you have to think that Osborne. This has to go. Double five, somewhere he hasn't seemed comfortable, no and again, Conan, you require it proves to be an Achilles heel for Colin Osborne, Game and Conan Whitehead says then. thank you very much, as I'm sure, as does Leonard Gates in the practice room. Turning well, point indeed, is it going to be a big turning point? Game on. We know Conan loves to be the spoiler. Sixty fifty nine one hundred. Osborne's back in that treble 20 One again with another. 180. Well, it's now becoming, after the first day where he didn't hit many 180s at all, he is now waded in. Definitely today. 42. Beautifully done as well, all across the bottom wire. Taylor-esque from Colin Osborne. 18 segment will be the target, staying there till he's... 58. He's okay switching. Fifty nine. Good response, and that's what Colin Osborne's done well, isn't it, over the last couple of days. Every time there's been a blow, he's bounced back. And we kind of saw the opposite from young Owen Bates in the previous match. Never really managed to lift his level. Colin, you require one hundred and four. I think that was mainly because of the pressure of the situation. And I think, you know, we're, we've got two guys here on the low 80s knowing the pressure of the situation, but tops up here. 64. Conan, you require 100. The amount of opportunities he's given himself. 
He's only in the low 80s because he's missed 14 darts at double in this match. Colin Osborne. 60. Conan White has only had Colin three. Colin McGuire, 40. Yeah, he's the one in front. For how long? Game shot on the four flag. Colin Osborne. Well, it doesn't matter when they go in as long as they do go in. And it's all square. Back on throw. Advantage Osborne once again. Fifth leg, it's Colin to throw first. Game on. Yeah, vast, vast gap in the checkout stats there. 45. Conan One back in there. 180. Well, he can do without this, can't he, Colin Osborne? He's been giving himself plenty of darts at double, but he's not going to get ahead of him in this leg unless he produces 180s of his own. 180. What were we saying about bounce back ability? But hang on a minute. Can't make it five, but he does make it five out of six. He won. Just a fag paper separates him here in leg five. 85. Width of a fag paper separates him. It will be Surely just got to go ball 25 here. Well, he got aggressive, didn't he? He went for the 96. treble. Believe himself on a, a simple two data. And he's going to get a single to double combination. 56. But the problem for Colin Osborne is he's needed more than two darts at double in all the legs he's won in this match. Game shot on the fifth leg. He'll be Colin pleased with that one. He'll be pleased with that one. 15 dart leg there. So it's Conan to throw first. To hold throw. Game on. It's been all about whether or not Colin Osborne can hit the double in this game. 60. A game that he would probably feel he could have had wrapped up by now. 16 darts missed at double. The scoring has been spot on. 125. One hundred and twenty-one. Three one eighties for Colin Osborne. Similar in terms of the other one hundred and forty scoring segments, but as we know, the old adage scores for show, doubles for dough. Eighty-five. Or if you're playing for a Greg Sausage Roll, doubles for a Greg Sausage Roll. Have you played a game of darts for a Greg Sausage Roll? 100. Possibly tomorrow, I believe. Well, Osborne's going to get the opportunity. Should go bull here, Conan White, just to leave himself 65. in with a chance. Well, and you can never rule him out. He's taken out some whoppers this week. Yeah, Conan's one of those when the first one's right, the rest tend to follow. Ninety-six. Conan, you have a yeah, good last start there from Osborne. Forty-four. Conan, you require forty. For this to stay in the race, to go top and to lay down the gauntlet to Gates. Ball's born has done his job. He got the wins he needed on a good day of darts for him. Four out of five for Colin Osborne. Two days in a row. Takes his tally to 20 and means that Leonard Gates now must win.
Otherwise, it will be Osborne who advances to finals night. That big match is coming up right after the break. It's Owen Bates against Leonard Gates. At the end of it, we will know our group winner. Welcome back to the Modus Super Series, where it now all comes down to this. Colin Osborne has laid down the gauntlet, courtesy of a 4-2 success against Conan Whitehead. A game which saw five maximums, which, if you look at the tally for the day, brings it up to 46. We have seen some sharp shooting today from our players. But let's focus on the top of Group A, because it comes down to this. Owen Bates against Leonard Gates. Now, Owen cannot go through but he is guaranteed a spot in group b as for leonard if he wins he's into saturday night if not then the wizard will be here guaranteed on saturday evening courtesy of group a so it all comes down to this huge game loads of ramifications on the line let's hand over to our big game commentary team it's scott mitchell and chris murphy thank you very much hate yes it is a big match for this man leonard gates it's one of those matches that we often get here at the Modus Super Series where there are two players on the stage playing the match, but actually it's a match involving somebody who's not in it. Really, Owen Bates into bat for Colin Osborne in this one. If he wins, it's Osborne who advances. If Gates gets the job done, he gets the two days off that he's been coveting and that place at final okay, night. First, I guess Owen to throw first. Game on. It's the 44th game out of 45. We will finally find out who is the winner of Group A on week 60. two. A few short minutes. The winner of week one was John Worsley. He went on, of course, to win finals night and be the first one into the Champions 80. Week group. One hundred. For me, you know, Owen Bates can provide the role of spoiler here. Well, it goes one of two ways for him, doesn't it? He's either relaxed and 100. wanting to sign off in style, or he's very deflated from being ruled out of the race himself after losing one hundred to Gary Hayes. He would have ended up being ruled out anyway. After Osborne bettered Whitehead, but he wouldn't have known that at the time, and it would have put more pressure on Colin Osborne as well. Thirty. One 
And Leonard Gates as well. Don't forget, he started his day hey, he too. by losing to Colin Osborne. Really did put the pressure on. He's managed to win every match since then. And we said he'd have to, didn't we? We said he'd have to, and it's proven to be the case. Great bit of pundit work by us. Yes, we did. So 99, 80 left. 59. I mean, never going 170. Top, so it's Owen Bates with a very good chance from here. And bullseye. Game shot in the first. The leg. big fish oh, going, Bates. Highest shot of the day, and Owen Bates takes it. Second against Leonard to throw first. Game on. Wow. Well, Leonard Gates sitting on tops in a match that he must win to top the group, to win the group, 100. no less. 100. And Owen takes the bait and reels in the big fish. 60. What a shot that was. And if we needed to know whether this young man was relaxed for this game or not, 140. I think that was the answer. Yeah, a real moment for him. And just will just fill up his cup of confidence again for tomorrow, won't it? As will that. Put those through a polo, man. But let's not, let's not rule out Leonard Gates here. He's gone ton 140 after the shock of that 170. Where he could 100. be stood, stood there throwing, thinking, well, this... I'm just having no luck here, but he doesn't seem that sort of character. It's like he doesn't believe in luck. He believes in own fate. Then did you record 160? Well, the best answer would be taking out a 161. He's not going to do it, but it doesn't matter. Bates can't do the damage he did in the previous leg because he's not on a finish this time. 137. That was some tidy stuff. From. Gates to leave 42. the finish. Leonard, you require 24. Oh, 24, double 12. Coming in for Gates and 1-1. One, one. Game show on the second leg. Leonard Gates. Yeah, good response. Uh, Scott Mitchell predicted that it would be from Leonard Gates, as it has been all week from well, Leonard Gates. To throw first. This one tied Game up. On. It's, the thing that, it's the thing that's impressed me about Gates. He doesn't let things get him down for very long at all. I think that's why he's playing standard that he plays, because as soon as it's gone, it's gone, he forgets it. And that's a lovely thing to have in your repertoire as a dart player, that when things go wrong or things big happen against you, if you're able to forget it, smile about it, forget it, not no, take it on board won. too much. And that's the way to do it. It really is. He's now chasing this game a little 60. bit. 60 won't be enough here. We've seen Bates when he gets a few points in front. He tends to kick on. 60. No matter what leg it is. Minimum requirement here from Gates is 100. He's still trying to battle 60. his way past those two. I would like to have seen him switch across. But it doesn't seem to be his way. One will be another fixture to fulfil after this one. Larry Butler and Gary Hayes in the battle to avoid finishing bottom of the table. But it's all eyes on this one for now. The all-important encounter features Bates, as we said, into bat for Colin Osborne and Gates, who is pitching for himself, 43. the former minor league baseball player. Forty-two. So a glimmer of hope here for Leonard Gates. He battered Owen Bates on Monday 4-0, but Bates got his own back yesterday with a 4-3 win. 100. Owen, you require 108. Big last start, that one for Leonard Gates. Double 16 for a second three-figure finish. 76. 
Leonard Jericho, 138. Seventy-eight left. All he can do is lead double top and hope. I mean, you require thirty-two. Yeah, he's going to have to break at some point in this match, Leonard Gates, if he is to win it and therefore win the group. Double sixteen, double eight. Game show the third leg by I'm the Gates. master who holds once again. Pressure on the American. Fourth leg is Leonard to throw first. Game on. And once again, ironically, the scoreboard doesn't show what hey, the average board. They don't seem to be in total parity. Yeah, well, it's that 170, isn't it, that changed everything. Gates was sitting ready to get the break he needed in the very first leg of the match on tops. And Owen Bates from nowhere hit the maximum finish. One hundred and forty. The play you have to keep thinking. You're gonna have to keep that up, my friend. You can't think of anything else other than you did nothing wrong to be sat where you 36. were six and be on the receiving end of the one seventy. He was again sat on double top when Bates went out in the previous leg, so he's leaving himself the chance 60. to break. It's just that Bates has been slamming the door shut firmly in the gate's face. On his own throw, he seems to have been completely dominant. 58. One hundred and forty. One hundred. Leonard requires seventy-eight. Double twelve. Again, plenty in hand. Ooh, that just 64. makes it a little more awkward for when he does come back. Ninety-five. Double seven. Leonard require fourteen. The man from Houston. Game show on the fourth leg. Leonard Gates. On the college, Houston, we don't have a problem with double seven. No problem at all. The only problem he has at the moment is Should trying to break Bates. Game on. Double seven. One hundred. I think you'll, you'll see this as a... An early opportunity. He saw the first dart go in the treble 20. He was probably thinking, oh, here we go again. But only a ton from Bates. Leonard wants to at least match that. 60. One hundred and forty. One hundred and forty. Came straight back at Bates there. The one forty of his own. Sixty-eight. The treble twenty would get him to a finish 100. first. He can't manage it. It's proving a tough task. Get that breaker throw that he needs. Stayed in touch this leg. 49. And what effectively is a best of three shootout. One hundred. I only require one hundred. Super and last start from Gates there. But Bates on one four four. Fifty five. This is as good a chance as he's had. 
to get that crucial break of throw that would he would feel effectively win him the group and I just can't understand the, the route really. I only require eighty nine. Me either. I really don't. A double five for Bates. Game shot on the fifth leg. I win Bates. Yeah, well, that that might be a situation where I, I, you can't even really call it counting, so just decision-making that's cost Game Leonard Gates there because you hit the 25 segment and you still need a treble. Hey, is he far? He's far better to go for the treble 20 with the first dart and even if a 20, he he leaves the 81. and If he goes for the treble 20 with the first dart and hits a 1 or a 5... He's still in exactly the same scenario he was by in the twenty five there. Yeah, definitely, yeah, definitely. Um strange, strange decision. Well it's three attempts at breaking the throw that have been failed. One of them snatched away cruelly by Owen Bates with a stunning one seventy checkout. One where Leonard Gates maybe could have been a little bit more pragmatic in his approach on the finish. But we could see him get one last chance to do it. And all of the work, the last three days, could 59. come down to a single leg. It most certainly could. I kind of like Colin Osborne to come out and pull up a front Whoa, row seat in the arena because it's affecting him. It's not affecting Owen Bates at all what happened no. in this match. We say could come down to one leg. That 180 means that Owen Bates could win this leg. 151. And in the circumstances, what a reply that 140 is. Absolutely. Right, now there is an argument to go for the bullseye 44. 25, but then you, require 94. you see a lot of players go treble 18 these days and be aggressive. What's the plan? 76 left, treble 20. Go your own way, Leonard. 68. 54. I mean, you require 107. <laughs> Binks there just reminded him what he had left. 88. Going treble 16 for double top. 72. Will he stay there? 95. Leonard, you require 40. So double top to force a deciding leg, yeah, and we are there, the and this leg will Leonard decide Gates. the destiny of this group. Will it be the soldier sealing a spot at finals night, or will Bates Seventh hold firm and, final, and to hand first. top on. spot to Colin Osborne? Fifty-eight. Suddenly what's been a very loud and boisterous practice room is silent. Next to us, I'm sure as Osborne has his eyes fixed firmly on this match. 100. It's hard to want to speak over this. You just want to let people take this in. This is such an important leg. This could be the important visit. This could be it. One Gates makes his move. 180. And what a time. What a time for Leonard Gates to fire in a maximum there. What's going through Eight, my head is want. just what a player. What a player to absorb all this. He's not finished it off yet. We've all been here. 85. Well, Bates is going to need two trebles for Colin Osborne's sake. Has to be going back upstairs. Nine, he's seven. Leonard Manage Leonard it. And now Leonard Gates now knows he's got his best break chance. Six starts from one three six. Sixty. Could 
could be costly, a treble, twen a treble miss there. Going to get away with it 79. a 79, Lenage requires 76. A little amount of pressure on. He'd fancy him to get a, da a double. That's where he's going. He's staying there for double 18. 58. I'm only recording 131. Penny to the thoughts of Colin Osborne right now. If Owen Bates takes out 1-3-1, one, one, Osborne goes through. I don't think he thought he was leaving 1-3-1 one, one here because he went for a treble 18 to leave it. When had Nine, he gone for a, a treble Leonard 20, he'd been 18. on a much easier finish. Is Gates splitting this? Okay, it's a two for double eight. This is a huge moment. Two darts in hand to win the group and book a place at finals night. Game and Gates the grabs glory. Leonard Gates. Leonard Gates is the first man through to finals night. The American ace soldiers on and seals his spot in Saturday's session at the expense of Colin Osborne, who did everything he needed to do Got the same amount of points as Leonard Gates, but a superior leg difference means that it is Leonard Gates who takes top spot in the group. He's first, Osborne second, the defeated Owen Bates third, Conan Whitehead fourth, and the bottom two places will be decided in our final match as Larry Butler faces Gary Hayes. Welcome back to the Modus Super Series, where I have the happiest man in <laughs> Portsmouth stood alongside me, Leonard Gates, the first man through to Saturday night. You are absolutely chuffed, aren't you? Oh, my God. I, I mean, I love this. I love the competition, the guys. Everybody's playing great darts right now, and it's like, uh, let me be a part of this. Let me, let me see what I can mm -hmm. do and, and see what happens. You know, it's great. It's great right now. More than just a part of it. I mean, you've been averaging 90 throughout most of the course of the day, and you've played some, you've played some magic stuff. Oh, okay. That, that, that's fine with me, because like, we don't see the averages, mm -hmm. and then to know that I'm mm -hmm. playing like 90 and above or whatever, that, that, that's even more better. You know what I mean? Uh, hopefully, it keeps going throughout the weekend, and uh, uh, just more darts to come, yeah? You seem to be you seem to be enjoying it at the minute, aren't you? Just the whole, you yeah, had the seniors, now this. You seem as if you're really enjoying the game. Uh, if... if if you're a person that loves darts and you're doing darts, and when you go back-to-back -back tournaments, events, and everything, it's 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 a plus. It's it's fun. It's enjoyable. The competition's great. 
oh man, I'm having a time of my life right now. Yeah. You're here on Saturday. This is going to be a crowd here on Saturday. Oh my God. Yes, it is. And everybody, we're going to see who they cheer for. Hopefully they cheer for me, but yeah, it's going to be great. I think they'll be yeah. cheering for you. <laughs> have, we got, have you got a little dance in this, Leonard? Um... I might have it. I might have it. Come on, I'll be on the show Come next on, day. Yeah. Hey! There we go. There hey! We go. <laughs> but it's, it's, trust me, I'm dancing in my head, so everybody will see it every day. Yeah. <laughs> He's darting on the scene. We've still got one more game to go. Incredibly. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to go and enjoy that now whilst me and Leonard do another little dance. Yeah. <laughs> thank you, baby. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Well, top dancing there from uh, one of those two. And one of these two will lift themselves off the bottom of the table. It's a battle for bragging rights, really. The pair of them heading into Group C for the rest of this week. Larry Butler and Gary Hayes, who is currently in bottom spot, but they're level on point, so whoever wins will finish fifth. The loser will be sixth. And they'll do battle again twice this week. Leonard Gates won't have to bother with that. It's feet up for him. And he can enjoy the action and watch Thursday and Friday, as you can at home, double sessions of the darts. And he will be back in action on Saturday. Deserving winner in the end, Scott? <laughs> yeah, I think so. But okay, first he probably thing wouldn't have won if he knew he had to go and dance with old Squeaky or? up there on the on the podium, you know. Be fair, Scott. Nobody danced with Henry yesterday, so because they, they got the chance today. No, I think he's a very worthy winner. I think the spirit in that last game to come back from that 170 finish against him and show character against the darts every every leg. He was almost 100. turning Owen Bates round. So on that performance alone, I think he deserved it. It would have been very easy for him to choke and not make it. So fair play to Leonard. He's got a couple of days off now, rest. 100. Although he'll be probably trying to find somewhere to have a practice knowing Leonard. One hundred and twenty. Another dart of Gary Hayes has dropped out there. It seems to be a a trait of his. He, I think he's had probably one or two every game that he's played 59. today. Seems to thunder into the other two darts that are in the board and take the pace off the dart and it then drops out. Sorry, Scott, I'm still flabbergasted at Henry Deacon's dancing there. I will join the commentary at some point. 140. I'm just thinking if that's how he dances, no wonder he spent last night at a football match on Valentine's Day. 59. Larry Rock, 100. I'll tell you what, though, good sport. Fair play, Henry. Me and Scott were dancing in the commentary box as well, but you just couldn't see us. That is good lad, Henry. Good lad. Larry Rock, 140. 140 then for Gary Hayes. It'd be a good finish. He was decent, wasn't he, against Owen Bates? 60. That 4 Larry 1 win in his previous 85. match. Yeah, he was decent. 16 and the ball. Okay, double nine. 67. Gary Require, 80. This is difficult now. 60. Well, he went for the small segment, the smallest Larry segment, Requiem, but he thought 18. he could use the dart, didn't he? Yeah, he was just just a couple of millimetres too high uh, on the second dart, and then that obviously yeah, hindered the third. The first leg. Larry Butler. Nothing hindered Larry Butler there. Clear target on the double four. One dart so in hand, and he took first. it. Didn't need a second opportunity or a second invitation. 100. Do check out the Modus Super Series Twitter page where you can see darts and dance. 60. And let us know who you think will be joining Leonard Gates at 
finals night on Saturday. Now we do indeed have confirmation of the groups. Oh, Group you want? C getting underway tomorrow from 9.30am. Join myself and Scott and Henry Deacon to guide you through the action. It will be this pair, along with Conan Whitehead, Luke Getty, John Brown and Callum Francis. 140. Good group, but for me, I think Conan Whitehead would have to be favourite for it. And then Group B, featuring Colin Osborne, Owen Bates, Adam Hunt, Prakash Jiwa, and Rob Collins. 60. That one may be more difficult to choose. That is, that is, put all the names in a hat, throw the hat in the air, and which one comes out first? It really is a group B of death, you would say. Yeah, well, the way Colin Osborne's played this week, you'd probably have to suggest that he should get through it. I'm not saying he'll win it, but should be one of the three. And he'd be very disappointed not to be no, after coming so six. close today. And he, he's got to be feeling unfortunate that he's actually in it with, with 20 points from a Group A campaign. 119. I'd say 20 points is a pretty good return from a Group A campaign. And to miss out with 20 points is a uh, tad unfortunate. 81. Larry Rock 126. So... One, two, six for Butler to double his lead in this battle at the bottom. The bullseye for Butler. 101. Gary Rick, 123. 57. No bolt on offer for Gary Hayes. Gary required 25. So double eight for Larry. That is so tight. 17. Sometimes can Gary be very requires, difficult 66. with the first start. It's too close. So it's double 18 now. 30. For Hayes. Larry require eight. No, 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 Larry. Get back to spec savers, mate. Other brands are available. Four. Gary requires 36. Game show on the second leg. Gary Hayes. So Hayes holds his throw. So look, it's Larry to throw first. She wasn't Game looking like doing it at one point there. One that Larry probably threw away rather than Gary won. 140. Do you think it's a thing? Obviously, I mean, you've probably played in similar situations. Narrative that I was pushing that, the, you know, the, the winner of it won't finish bottom. Do you think that's uh, important in any way for these players? You both start on zero points when all said and done tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, I don't, I don't think it would make a difference to Larry. I think it would make a difference to Gary to not to not finish in bottom because it's his first time here and he, he wouldn't want to be doing that. And, and to be fair, I don't think he's played that badly to be the one that's at the bottom, to be honest. I don't think any of them have. I think it's been one of those groups where whoever 95. ends up at the bottom can feel pretty unfortunate. Yeah, fair point. Gary Hayes representing the amateur dart circuit and if you think you're watching this you're sat at home you think well i could do that i'm good enough then go and put your money where your mouth is you can go and enter any of the adc tournaments around the country covering all the regions of the uk larry require 81 and there are opportunities for regional winners and national winners to come and play here at the motor super series 49 and it's increasing in popularity uh, is the ADC because it, it has an end product, which is you coming here to, to play on TV. Yeah, and of course, we've seen Fifth, great eight. success for some of the players. Larry the one Rick that sticks out is Adam Warner, who came through that system, won his week, and then went on to get a tour card. We'll be on the Pro Tour this year. Game show on the third. Did well there, Larry, Larry Butler. Butler. That dart could have been a distraction, but he avoided it. A nice, respectful game of darts, this. Between the pair of well, them. Like it's Gary to throw first. But it's 2 1 to Larry. Game on. Game on. 
95. Forty two. Fifty seven. Neither really put a stamp on this leg as yet. Sixty. A lot of huffing and puffing, but there's no houses being blown down at the moment. 100. 99 for Butler. 100. Stayed up top. He's obviously going to deal with the odds is next time around. 83. I think Gary Hayes came down there when there's probably no need. Had he stayed up and hit another 20, he'd have had himself a 99 finish. And that's what always <laughs> ruins the mistake when you hit those two trouble 20s. When you're on 163, 166, you tend to do that. Yeah, depending, I suppose in this spot you won't mind too much with Larry Butler on 200. But here comes Larry knocking at Gary's door. 141. Gary requires 32. Just looking at the treble 16 there to leave double 16, the target that Gary Hayes He's trying to hit. No score. Larry requires 59. And that has been the story of Gary Hayes' first couple of days. 39. Gary requires 32. Double 16. Double 8. Well, he leaves five. Looks a little bit bemused. No score. No, no. Larry required well, he, 20. I'm sure that wasn't an intended bust there. What, what do you think? Was it an intended bust? I think it was an intended bust on the 20s, but I think he got away with it being a very high intended almost, bust. Almost. Almost ended up actually missing the board entirely and leaving Six. five. Gary required 32. What on earth's going on here? Well, Hayes back at double 16. We'll be hoping for a little bit more. Well, this will be some dart. 16. Larry required 14. Right, Larry to break a move within one leg. Game show And he gets leg. it. And now Larry, Larry Butler, Butler is one away from a 4-1 win that would see him move on to 12 points and actually Big finish the Larry day throw first. level with Conan Game. Whitehead. Forty three. One hundred. One hundred and thirty seven. Just to uh, remind everybody what has happened. Today, Leonard Gates, the table topper, dancing through to finals night on 20 points. The same amount of Colin Osborne, but he misses out on leg difference. Owen Bates couldn't beat Gates in the last match of the day to help Osborne progress, and it will be him and the Wizard that go 29. through to Group B. Coden Whitehead has a fourth place finish, and whoever wins this match will finish fifth, with the loser finishing bottom of the table. Should be switching here now, Gary Hayes. 19s to leave a finish. 128. Well, fair enough.
Had he not found the treble, he would have left the big fish. Maybe fancied something flashy before the group ends, but that's pretty handy from Larry. Gary Rickard, the pile of pressure on the 138 remainder. Treble 18, not found. So Larry Butler has the chance Nine, to wrap up the final match of the day Larry Rickard, here and now. He's just, I think he's just thrown a bit of a practice dart then, Larry Butler. 54. A bit late for that, Larry. Larry require 40. Double 20 to extend this Game encounter. Shot the fifth leg, Gary Hayes. Sixth leg, it's Gary to throw first. Game on. A break of throw. Sixty. Eighty two. Well, this game is being pay played at a, a pedestrian pace from this old hat type of player, Larry 100. Butler. 100. 65 years of age now. And we'll have it all to do again in Group C. 140. 140. Scott Mitchell is making his way upstairs to analyse the day's action with Henry Deacon. Wonder if he'll be able to get Scotty Dog to down. Forty four, Gary Rickard, one hundred and twenty one. Forty two, Larry Rickard, one hundred and thirty five. Fifty eight. Gary requires 79. So 79 for Gary Hayes to extend this classic encounter. Thirty nine. Larry requires 77. This then for the win for Butler. 68 left, 18 ball. Double seven. 63. Gary Require. Well, we're going 40. the distance. In the last match, a match will decide who finishes at the foot of the field. Game show, Miss Sixth Flag. Hayes Gary hits Hayes. tops. Seventh and final leg is Larry to throw first. Game on. So then this leg to decide who finishes fifth in this group. They've been playing for three days solid. And Fifth one of them nine. will avoid the wooden spoon at the end of it. Will it be Larry, the legendary lobber from the USA? Or can Gary get glory? Here he comes. 135.
That's a good effort from Butler. Now here comes Gary. Oh, what a visit that is. Absolutely superb. What a way to close the day's play. It's certainly been worth the wait, hasn't it, folks? 60. Now then, should be coming downstairs. How we'd like to see him score 95 to leave the big fish, but he'll be wanting more than that now. This is glorious from Gary. Where has he found this from? A champagne shot on offer. What a way it would be to 40. win it. Gary Surely he's going to go the champagne shot. Finishing style, bullseye. Oh, Gary. Well, it might end up being still Eighty-two. a really good leg of darts from Gary Hayes. Oh, he's going to go for the ball to win it, surely. Surely when he comes back, we're going to see Gary Hayes walk up and plant one straight in the ball. Twenty-three. Gary Come on, Gary, 50. don't let us down. Don't let us down. Boo. Double 16. Double eight. Should have gone for the ball, Gary. Larry require 83. Now will Larry get a dart at the bullseye? Will it be better? It is better for Butler. Double 16. Oh, what an end to the match. match. What an end to the day. Larry Butler, Larry Butler wins 4-3 against the ADC qualifier. Gary Hayes, the eagle, lands the match winning double to ensure he will not be bottom of the table. That goes to Hayes, unfortunately for him. They'll both be back in Group C with Conan Whitehead the same time tomorrow. Double sessions of darts, but it is Leonard Gates, a soldier, who has danced his way through to finals night. And his dance partner is upstairs, upstairs ready to talk to Scott Mitchell about today's play. Henry. Chris, thank you very much indeed. Scott Mitchell with me to analyse, well, a bonkers day at the Super Series. It's been a bonkers week. I mean, nothing's really separated. What a Group A that has, was in, in week two. It's definitely right up. Let's have a look at the table. Let's square things off now. Dot the I's, cross the T's, because we know Leonard Gates is a man who is through. Him and Osborne locked on 20 points apiece, but it was really those succession of big wins kind of yesterday that did it for Gates. It was, but I, I'm going to have to look back at that last game with Owen Bates there. Owen Bates threw everything at him early doors mm -hmm. to try and get to Leonard, and it didn't work. It, it, he just withstood all the pressure. That's going to see him in good stead on Saturday night because he's going to be under more of that pressure as the competitors come through to that evening. Have we kind of seen, the more we've seen Leonard Gates on these kinds of stages, the more he's kept his composure in the big moments. And we kind of saw it there because it would have been so easy after Owen Bates hit that 170 in the first leg to almost fold to a certain extent. Absolutely. And how good would he be if he could sort out some of those counting issues that he has? Because we're, we're sat down there and thinking, which way is he going to go for this? And sometimes he goes the same way. Sometimes he's thought of another way. If he gets that sorted... In still tip, he's going to be a very dangerous opponent. Colin Osborne narrowly missing out, as did Owen Bates. We can now have a look at how the week is going to work out in terms of Group C and B. We'll begin with Group C because that's going to be our focus tomorrow morning. Conan Whitehead, Larry Butler and Gary Hayes dropping down from that. And they're going to be joined by John Brown, Luke Getty and Callum France. It's going to be a debut for him in this competition. Again, another young player who, who needs to be here and, and having a go. And again, the Moda Super Series is going to bring you fresh faces. Well, let's bring that bracket back up now and have a look at Group B in the evening session because joining Colin Osborne and Owen Bates is going to be Adam Hunt, Prakashi and Rob Coins. That's going to be a really tough group, that Group B. A massively tough group. Um, it got to the point where a reward of finishing second in this Group A <laughs> sent you into Group B. You're wondering if that really was a reward. I'll tell you what, we're going to have two really good days of darts coming up. We are, and uh, I can't wait. I can't wait for it to start. I've, this one is now closed. It took 44 games out of 45 until we decided a winner. Now we've got to go again with Group B and C. And before you ask, no, you're not allowed to dart. Anyway, that is it from us here at the Motors Super Series. Oh, I give up. Um, group A, where Leonard Gates may have provided the dancing, but on Saturday, he'll be darting with the stars.